I'm not going to show her the same. Yep, no, they did. <laughs> scared me again. Still scared me. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for a new show. Okay. And we're jumping right into another Mike Flanagan directed and written Netflix series. This time it's called Midnight Mass. Ooh. What do you think it's about? Oh, definitely some scary stuff around church, I'm guessing. Yeah? Yeah. Not mm. sure I'm thrilled with that, but... Looks like it's pretty good, though. We'll probably see some returning cast members from The Haunting of Hill House. Yeah, I imagine. Maybe even some Dr. Sleep um, cast members he, as well. He so. likes to reuse the same yeah, actors. Yeah, he does. So. So. Any other thoughts before we jump into this? No, not a single one. You ready to get scared all over again? Yeah. And maybe cry again? Let's hope not. Think it'll make you cry again? Let's hope not. (laughs) (laughs) Let's jump into it. Let's check it out. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us. We're going to get those Mike Flanagan shows done because I'm a fan. Yeah. Also, also, we have Twitter and Instagram. If you're interested, you can add us at You Me The Movies and uh, and follow us there. Yeah, pictures and updates and... Stuff like that. Check it out. We also have a Patreon. Links down below. Check it out. If you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, links down below. Check it out. Let's watch Midnight Mass. Here we go. Book one, Genesis. It's usually the first book of the Bible. Correct. Is she she okay? No. She's going to be okay? Not at all. She's dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why do you write it? Ask him why he always takes the kids. Or the drunk walk away with scratches. It is the sentence of this court that you be incarcerated for a period of four to ten years in the custody of the Illinois Department of Corrections. Look like she went through the windshield. She's not wearing her seatbelt. I don't know. No, no. Uh oh, bent neck lady's coming. Could be worse. <laughs> Jesus. I like, I knew it was coming and it still scared the shit out of me. It's glass in her face. Yeah. Ugh, I hate that. Like, sent jolts to my tips of my toes. Four years later. You getting out with good time or good uh, behavior? I would imagine. Crockett Island, population 127. He knows the boat schedule, Annie. Hmm? No, he was just asking if he knew the boat schedule because he just can't wait to see you. Do you need anything else? Do you want to say hi to Dad? Okay. Ed, Riley wants to say hi. Honey, you know, your dad just stepped out, and so he didn't hear me, but he says hi. Okay. Now listen. Ms. Keene says <laughs> that ooker has been up to God knows what in the open. Moms. <laughs> That's a great mom. Good and truly. Off you go. Is he a good kid or being sarcastic? Good and truly? Sweet jump. Remember doing that on my bike. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what state do you think this island's in? No idea. Yeah. East Coast? Kind of feels like it. Oh. 
It's a guy from uh, Yellowstone. Oh yeah. Isn't Come it? on, Bull. He, he can't help who his dad is. Yeah. We had no. a deal. He was just looks like him from a distance. <laughs> That's what you want to hear, right? Fine. F him. F him off. F the sheriff. How about now? His dad's the sheriff. Getting into trouble. I wish you could come with us. I'm good. I actually prefer not to smell like cat. Time for supper, Lisa. I don't have a ramp on those stairs. Gosh, the angles they're choosing to use are. Look at that door. All right, what's in the chest? I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Good, a person, huh? Oh, we're not even gonna see who it is. Person or a ghost? I don't know, person, but I don't know why. If it was a demon, it would have knocked three times back. Right. <laughs> three or five. Oh, that's not a good way to go. This is like a thing we've been doing for generations, man. So you f this up and tell your dad, it's gonna be bad for you, man. Of course I'm not gonna tell my dad. A little smaller island off the coast here. Something even creepier island than the one they came from. You guys see that? What? Like a... A demon creature? Or a monster pelican? Flew right over us. Well, somebody's gotta do something about these strays. Didn't used to be this bad, but it's an army now. My dad says they're all from the mainland? Yeah, technically they have to be. What are they feeding on? Funny, my dad says. Now sometimes there's a storm. And it floods, and those bodies just pop up right out the ground. Cat food. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Thank it. Well, they just go out here to get high. Hello, kitties. You know my brother, Bobby? Are these demon cats that are going to eat them alive? Oh. They're fighting. No. Nope. Repopulating. Yeah. What was that? A creature? <laughs> a demon creature, of course. Last, ah. Yo, <laughs> oh man, I laid him cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Roller Girl said she didn't want to smell like cat. Yep. <laughs> Thought they just had really bad weed or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Doesn't make you smell like a skunk, it makes you smell like a cat. Pooped on you. Oh, mom's always happy to see you. Who's the Girl Scout? Yeah, she looks normal. Hi there. The whole clan, basically. Uh, huh? Mrs. Dudley and Theo. I guess he's home. Poor woman. Old fling. Who knocked her up? Not him. Rise and shine, Joe. You want some coffee? Mr. Dudley. Mm -hmm. What did you do to me, Sharif? Sheriff. I'm surprised. <laughs> well, you were trying to break in, after all. Well, into the general store, anyway. Half past midnight and sweating pure Jim Beam. Having at the windows with an oar. So you lock me up? <laughs> Well, Joe, you, you said you're being followed by a giant albatross. Huh? Oh, yeah. Wings as big as lawn chairs, you said. Well, that makes a little sense, actually, because <laughs> albatross is bad luck. Oh, no, no. Whoa, whoa, easy, baby. Well, that's uh, S Steve's wife. Mm -hmm. Snapped at me. Snapped right at me, just passing by. I didn't snap. Barks? Sometimes, most Come on, buddy. Later, Sharif. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> He's the only problem in this town, apparently. Frank's got a job in Oregon now. Factory job. I'm guessing West Coast, then? Must be, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's like 
Washington off the sound. Could be. Is that Scully? Yeah. This isn't a community anymore, honey. It's a ghost. He'd be here. If he could. Now, we have the new rec center. It's not completely done, but close, and it holds twice as many. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure holding twice as many makes a material difference when you do the math. <laughs> right, um, Bear it in mind for yourself as well. Unless you plan on hopping a ferry to the mosque, you'll have to hunker down with us, too. Jeez. Thank you. Uh, we'll let everybody know to head to St. Patrick's <laughs> if yeah. things get bad. They know that. Wait, hang on. Maybe this is East Coast and there's a big storm coming. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Perhaps we're not meant to know. <laughs> Some ambiguous island? Yeah. Where, where is she back from? What, what is she doing? Well, I suppose you'd have to ask her. Well, we know one thing she was doing. Warren? Come on, she told us herself. Besides, she's starting to show us if it was supposed to be a secret, it's not going to be for long. Whatever happened. So she got pregnant and then came back to the island? So. He held up the host three times during consecration the other day. I felt ridiculous from ringing the bells. Well, we all have our minds. People have been seeing him <laughs> wandering around at night. Like, late at night. Like, midnight. At the, the marina, the docks, the general store. Did you see him, Warren? See the one on the island? You think he's a demon creature now? <laughs> he went back to the Holy Land. Who knows what he found? Made a deal with the devil in the Holy Land yeah. and is now a demon creature by night and a it's not missing always... missing priest by day. Boy, I was really only in it for the chicks. <laughs> you know, man in uniform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not funny. It's a little funny. It's not funny at all. Yeah, it's a little funny. <laughs> you were going to church tomorrow, Riley. Dad. And every other Sunday. I don't care if your heart's not in it or the mood doesn't strike you. You can consider it a condition of your parole. And when he says every other Sunday, does he mean every, every other Sunday or right. every Sunday other than tomorrow Sunday? So like every Sunday. I think he meant every Sunday, okay. but he said it. Every he said other every Sunday. other Sunday, which made it think like it only every twice a, yeah, every twice two week. weeks. Yeah, <laughs> every two weeks. Yeah. Monsignor. Was he in the chest? It wasn't an 80 year old guy pulling that chest in. No way. Monsignor, you are home. Welcome back. No, it was a young guy dragging that chest. Oh. Now he's a young guy, huh? You think he de aged himself? He made a deal with the devil to be young again. The chalice of life. Storm shelter. Oh. I'm on Senior Pruitt. This cat is totally about to get eaten. Yeah, for sure. By that demon creature. <laughs> vampires? You're thinking vampires? Not demons? Demon vampires? I don't know. No, it's a religious show. I mean, it's a religious basis, so it Night must mass. be demons. Apologize to our dad. Um, like seven. Cool poster. All right, Dad. Kiss your mother. Guess he's a widower. It must be. It's his oh. backpack. Little brother sneaking out. Okay, he's gonna see her again. You think so? Well, yeah, it's like his re his thing, right? His ghost. Yep. I don't want. Can't know. go to bed without seeing her face. I'm not gonna show her the same. Yep. Nope. They did. <laughs> scared me again. Still scared me. You had the lights shown on his face before a jump. Rude. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Why are we doing this? He's having a dream. What was that about? 
Who the hell knows? You wanna feel the cruets? Yeah. Somebody already did. It's a new priest. Or an old priest that just looks new. If he's been there his whole life, I think some of the older folks would be you look young. You look like you did sixty years ago. I think it's just a new guy. Our opening hymn is Faith of Our Fathers, number 787, in your red hymnal. Faith of our fathers. <laughs> no, it's the old priest. You think so? Yeah, it's him as a kid. Like, uh, him as a young man, right? Good morning. Totally him. I see you this morning. I'm Father Paul Hill, and I was sent by the diocese to fill in for Monsignor Pruitt for a few weeks. He fell ill, I'm afraid, on his trip. He's fine. You are not losing your pastor, I can promise you that. This is a temporary situation. So he's only going to look young for a little bit? <laughs> I think that's a different dude. Don't think so. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. Is he going to be poisoning them now? <laughs> Communion? Do this in remembrance of me. No, I mean, they're going all the way through communion, so this has got to be important. Right. Well, yeah, and he filled the wine. Beforehand, yeah. Yeah, and... What's his name? Is not Riley's gonna not going to partake. And so that, he'll be... Yeah, he'll be free from whatever they're consuming. It's going to be like cult Kool-Aid. <laughs> you think? <All> right. <laughs> I don't know. And what's her name? Probably didn't drink it because she's pregnant. Could be. She might be just ate bread. Although lots of pregnant women drink wine. We'll partake in. And I noticed you sat back for communion. It got rather quiet, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. God. You're the prodigal one. I'm just the black sheep. Hmm. Can I walk you home? What's up, her butt? That was stick. <laughs> and I was in Austin for a while, and I joined up with a rock band. <laughs> You're kidding. I was such an idiot. Um, and you're pregnant. Yeah, I am. But that's a story. It is and it isn't. Yeah, she doesn't want to tell you the details of how that happened. <laughs> Forgive me, I don't mean to... It's just you're wearing a gold chasuble today. Uh, yes, I am. Isn't that for feast days and special... Shouldn't no, be... he's not... He doesn't know his thing. Uh, perhaps Monsignor Pruitt, he stored it somewhere unusual given his mental state bef before he left. He used an old... Old words, like decade old words, and we're the wrong color. I'm glad you're here. Well, thank you. And likewise. Oh. So he's a fraud, or. Is that a practice? Right. Faking it now? But how do you know about Monsignor Pruitt to come here to replace him? Again, I think he's Monsignor Pruitt in his young man's body, but he's still got the old man's brain. I don't, think so. I don't know. <laughs> Storm's coming. Yeah. yeah, this has got to be East Coast. It's right? got to be, yeah. Maybe like Maine or something. Is it empty or is there... What's in it? Catching a glare from a window? Dirt on the floor. Well, 
Who's that? Guy? He's out there just walking on the beach. What? No, he's on the mainland. Okay, well maybe he came back. Monsignor. Monsignor Pruitt? Was he in the box? Maybe. I swear, it's the hat, the coat, I know the outfit, and it's him. No, he's on the mainland. It's Pruitt! Well, I mean, my eyes aren't what they used to be, so I can't... Oh, he's... He's like a demon or something. Or the ghost of Father Pruitt. Fast as hell for an 80-year-old. What is he? Dad. Who's that? Is there bodies on the shore? Yeah, probably. Like the brother was saying, they wash up on their shore? Yeah. Except these aren't going to be old Fresh skeletons. Body? Whose body? Bunch of cats. All the cats. It is all the cats. Yeah, bunch of cats. All the cats that the Peruan demon eat, ate or something. Mm. Well, at least the little brother's not going to smell like cat <laughs> every week. goes get it high anymore. <laughs> All right. The first episode of Midnight Mass yeah. in the books. So what's going on? What are you thinking? Well, what do you think? Because it's your first time watching, too. And I kind of told everybody what I think the whole time. I was, like, there's a demon, right? Yeah. Do you think that was Father or Monsignor Mon Pruitt, yeah. Pruitt on the island the little brother saw? And then I don't he's know. wandering around with a I feel at this hat point, and coat. At this point, everybody I am questioning must be him. <laughs> right? Like, I think the new father is him. I think the demon on the creature might be him. I think that might have been the ghost of him. I don't know. I think this Pruitt's everywhere. Pruitt's everywhere. He dipped his fingers in some nasty sh when he was on his travels. Yeah. I don't think the new priest is Pruitt. You know? I think he brought whatever he is back in that box. Yeah. And he's like... Faking faking being a, a priest because yeah, he's getting he's, it all wrong. He is remembering things from when he was a kid. I bet he was an altar boy. So he remembers just, all of... He's just going through the motions. He's faking it based on what he did when he was little. I think so. Yeah. Or maybe Father or Monsignor... I can't even... Monsignor. Monsignor Pruitt. Maybe he f stumbled across this guy and he's like, You gotta take me home and be the priest while I would do whatever. Right. Oh, so I've, it's got to be the East Coast. Got, I think it's like New England, East Coast. I fishing, think it right? does not matter yeah. where it's at. That's not the point. Yeah. Right. So 100 people on this island, and it looks like there's a demon that just ate all the cats. So it's going to have to eat new food. Yeah. Yep. Going to be coming after somebody. Yeah. Great. Stop going to the little island and get high. No kidding. <laughs> Especially after seeing that thing. I thought I would have been more freaked out. Yeah. What else is on your mind? That's about it. Can't wait yeah. to see what happens next, actually. Yeah, you're into it? Well, I'm scared of it, but yeah. I want to know. And I know Flanagan's going to be good. Yeah. I don't think... I'm not sure if this is an adaptation of anything, because I know Haunting of Hill House was an adaptation of something, and I think Bly Manor is as well. There's other media titled Midnight Mass, but it's not like a new phrase, obviously. Midnight Mass is like... An actual thing. A lot of holidays. Like, on the holidays. Like Christmas Eve midnight mass is probably the most popular midnight I mass. I would imagine. Right? Yeah. So I'm wondering if that has anything to do on it. Maybe that's about the birth of Christ, of course. So if that is what the title of the show is kind of hinting at, what does that mean? Right? And then there was a big communion scene in this opening episode yeah, yeah. of Genesis, book one, Genesis. Do you think they're he's poisoning? I the, think it's gotta be something, or, right? Like, putting something in the wine to yeah. hypnotize the, the town. Otherwise why would they have made such a spell or something? Yeah, why would they have made such a thing about uh, it? Riley's gonna be the guy that has to fight him because he's not gonna be taken. Right. And I think Aaron, who's pregnant, is probably just that gives her a reason, like right. character wise, to not be drinking as well. So mm -hmm. she'll be his sidekick, you know, partner in crime. Uh, I agree. Yeah. What that they're going to have to stop, though. It's up in the air at this point. I will have to watch, yeah. Any other predictions? Not at this point. What should people comment? What were your first thoughts? What is yeah. Monsignor Pruitt? No, they'll, they'll know, they, most of them have already yeah, watched probably it, already so watched. no spoilers. Don't give us spoilers, but w after your first watch of the first episode, what were you guessing, right? Yeah, yeah, and, uh, exactly. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out. We're going to watch all of this Midnight Mass. Seven episodes, so six more to go. All right. 
And uh, don't forget to check us out on social media at uh, You Me The Movies is our social media handle on Twitter and Instagram. Post pictures, updates, and stuff like that, so check it out. Also, we have a inst- Patreon. Also, we have a Patreon. If you want to get early access to reviews, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, the link's down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Crocs don't don't work. <laughs> Howdy, folks! Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV, and it's time for more scary with Midnight Mass. Oh boy! What's going on on this island? Last time we were watching, I have like a few theories. Maybe the old man preacher Pruitt, right? Pruitt made a deal with the devil to make himself young again, thereby creating some sort of demon creature. Or maybe the demon just ate Pruitt. Or maybe this guy, this new guy, killed Pruitt with the demon creature and is trying to take his place to infect or provide a food source for his demon creature. On this island, because nobody will really know if they're missing, because right. they're on a little island. I don't know. Yeah. I have a few different theories. They all include a demon creature. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what's in the box, you think? It was a demon creature? Well, I think that's what that was on that island. Yeah. Well, should we jump in and find out what, what this all about? Yeah, I think Maybe we have to. find out what that thing was in the box or what's going on with the preacher. Yeah, if we could find out what it is bef- without seeing it, that would be great. Okay. Well, you close your eyes, I'll tell you what it is. Perfect. Right? <laughs> Good teamwork. Yeah, I'll just tell you it's like Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Love it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us. We're watching Midnight Mass. The people asked for it. That's why we're watching it. Let's do it. We also have Instagram and Twitter if you're interested in joining that. Yeah. At you, me, the movies is our social media handles on both Twitter and Instagram. So check it out. And we also have a Patreon if you want early access or full in commentaries or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Check it out. The link's down below. Let's watch some more Midnight Mass. Book two. Psalms. The Psalms. But you don't see, well, you don't see any oil now, do you? Look, here, look. I and try not to get too close, yeah, yeah, all right? Yeah. Don't want to pick up parasites. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah, no oil. Well, that's something anyway. You should have seen, well, folks around here, they've seen some... Was it, was it an oil spill? That's all I give a about. <laughs> Predator, huh? Ospreys, maybe, or... Some kind of uh, shark. I don't know, maybe lots of baby sharks. I don't know. Baby shark. Don't bait. even get started right now. Storm or whatnot. He only had one. What's this? He said he'd send more if we need. Oh, we're going to need. Did you tell him how many? I didn't know how many. Well, he thinks there's a few cats on the beach. To tell him it's hundreds. Actually, you know, tell him to come down here. What's this now? Well, I figured we'd burn him in case it's disease. Get him in a pile and burn him and well, keep people... If back. you have them in one pile, that can could be enough. Respect. And I know that you hop the ferry and you spend your Sundays on mainland for mosque, but... Fridays. Oh, Fridays. Well, then you're here Sundays, which is perfect. I think we burn them. Makes sense. Yeah. Better safe. Morning, Ed. Riley. Wowzers. You ever seen something like this, huh? You know, I remember 2002 it was, a whole flock of starlings. I don't understand why they got him to be mayor. Because he talks a lot. (laughs) I was going to say, the first episode, he didn't seem so annoying, but... You know how Muslim crew always wears that coat and hat? Yeah, I guess so. All right, well, last night I saw... N- never mind, he's on the mainland. It's crazy. The whole family saw him, right? They were all looking out the kitchen window at him. I don't know. Look, stay away from the cats, all right? I don't want you catching toxo cat Moses or whatever. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> what killed the cats? That demon creature. There's no blood. 
Yeah, they sucked the blood out of it. It's obviously vampiric or something. Vampiric demon? Feeding off of something to keep its earthly body. I don't know. Make it <laughs> up. <laughs> morning is number 400 in the red hymnal. Holy, 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 please rise. He's got his green coat now. He's like, oh, the rule is green. <laughs> Gold for special occasions. <laughs> Lord God Almighty. I think Mike Flanagan's a Catholic. I would say. Grew up Catholic. Yeah. Must have. Flanagan. Yeah, that's a good old Irish name, eh? Irish Catholic. Must be part of his, uh release yeah condition of his parole i think you already mentioned that where were you before this hell <laughs> well that's the thing about where we've been it's important sure but it's not as important as where we're going and every place i was before where i am now well they were just leading me here even if i didn't know it at the time even if i didn't see it well that's a non-answer isn't it <laughs> classic way to skirt the question he was pointing you here, same way he was pointing me here. Or oh, they got a history? Must. Is he why she's in a wheelchair, you think? Must be. Like a drunken accident. Lisa? Oh, I'm fine. It's fine. I mean, pretty small town for them to have a <laughs> beef in, right? I haven't even seen a car on the, mm -mm. the island, so it must have been something... Well, maybe there are cars, but they just don't use them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you okay, Beth? Aaron. <laughs> you surprised me. Uh, what do you need? Windex. Did you try adding a bit of water to it? Your mother used to put back the empties. Right back into this closet, half of them filled with nothing but water sometimes. She was... I'd have to throw them out myself. I would say, Peggy... <laughs> Picky Green, you are going to bury us in bottles if you keep it up. And here you threw it away. Isn't that just a gas? <laughs> you know, it is funny because at home, she never met a bottle she couldn't empty. Oh. <laughs> I plan to just sprinkle a little bit outside the house just to be safe. I could do your house as well, if you like. Oh, no, I'll be fine. Of course you will, dear. Why is she so weird? What's she up to? Probably just in there huffing fumes or something. Sarah. Yes, Sarah Gunning. Uh, you're... I've heard about you, Father. Paul. Hill. Mom, someone's here to see you. She's coming to give her daily mass at home? Ah. No. She thinks you're Monsignor Pruitt. Yeah, Sorry. he is Monsignor Pruitt. And Same she's true. probably like the love child of them or something. Mom, this is I think so. Yep. The way he said Sarah, like he'd known her forever. They do have the same color hair. Yeah. And they kind of look alike. Mm hmm. Maybe you're right. Maybe he is yep. young Monsignor Pruitt. There's got to be a picture of him at that age, though, somewhere on the island. He's going to try to make her young again. He loves her. Yeah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. She's also an actress in age makeup, so. Right. So it'll be easy to make her young again. <laughs> Are you really walking by without saying hi? <laughs> Rude. Go on. Then a classroom full of teenagers, all of whom think you're an idiot, but half of whom smell like fishing boats that they spent their mornings working. Nice. <laughs> Then a city council where you will be kind of, but not really, slut shamed by Bev Keen. Uh. <laughs> morning sickness. Is evening morning sickness worse than morning morning sickness? Oh, substantially. <laughs> I remember 15-year-old uh, Riley sneaking out of my bedroom window, trying to make curfew. Don't want to upset the parents. Good night, Aaron. You too. What were they doing in her room? Studying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Thimble. Her eyes have improved. The wine has some sort of, like, health tonic in it. Is he making everybody on the island Anybody younger? Anybody who's drinking the wine. So, you think it's going to heal the one in the wheelchair, then? Maybe. Are you ready for this one? Yes, I... I feel like it, but I know that I'm not. How is your day? <laughs> I'm starting to get this dream, though. He's lost at sea with no uh, purpose. Hmm. Yeah. Something's going to be in that window. No, I was like, something's going to be in the window. I just know it. Demon creature, here it comes. Oh, well, it's an albatross. What is an albatross? Big a, ass bird. A demon creature? It's kind of like the big ass bird that you see in the finale of Lost. That's like an albatross. Remember that bird that shows up? Not really. It said Hurley's name. Oh. Um. Great. Now it's going to live on the island. It's huh? an abandoned house, right? Yeah. A little more crowded today? Just wait till Easter. If it weren't for that and Christmas, some people would never come at all. <laughs> What's wrong with the qu Christmas crowd? Songs. <laughs> the word psalm from the Greek psalmoi, it means music, songs of prayer, songs of praise. That's very spirited today. Darkness. In the worst of it, in the absence of light and hope. We sing. That same hand that dealt you your hardship, that same hand will make you whole. Wow. The sermon. Not very Catholic of him. <laughs> Remember you were dust. And to dust you shall return. Why was he hesitant on Riley? He just wanted to make sure that Riley saw him. Yeah. I think we're upsetting your clergy. Oh. He's not mine. He's new. <laughs> they have had the same old Monsignor here since before I was born. He would stare at me just like that all the time. Even back when I was a kid. It's because he's your father and he loves you. See, you um, know, nothing about it all. Why do you ask? It's nothing, just... <laughs> Keep seeing him at night, <laughs> outside my window. I spoke to him that night on the phone. Uh, this was before the storm. It was after the afternoon ferry. I mean, unless he swam here. Between you and I, Riley. Or flew. Mm. I love Timmy in the Whack Shack. With drink tickets that neither of us can use. Oh, Bev gave him a poison hot dog. Sure did. Was that Bev that dropped the hot dog at him? Somebody. She, I'm just thinking that she had the poison. Yeah. He was poisoned. And that's what happened. You don't like me? That's fine. F I done? I don't care about me so much either. Joe, I'm not a vet, but may I? Can you help? No, no, he's dead. You can't help him. What do you think? That was definitely the... The town bitch. The prissy one, yeah. I hope maybe I can help out on, on the boat. Just, I want to be of use, Dad. Well, you're going to need better shoes. 
I'll go see if I find something. The crocs don't don't work. <laughs> Crabbing. It's better. That communion wine. Mm-hmm. So do you think the father sold his soul maybe to help the heal? the Holy Grail. To, oh, could, maybe. To help heal the island? So talking about resurrection. Mm. Poor dog, if it ingested some accidentally... Well, I'll just be a wreck. Anyone else? Tend to have access to those chemicals. Heck, you walked right on in here, didn't you? If you had wanted to grab a gallon, who'd have known it? You have a good day, Beth. You do the same, Sheriff. She's so condescending and passive aggressive. Ooh. And he knows she didn't like that dog because in the first episode, mm -hmm. she said it snipped at him. Sheriff, you search whatever you want on my property, you knock yourself out. My friend here is just leaving, and he means no harm. Not his fault. He was born woefully f***ing unfunny. <laughs> I, I gotta say, to be honest, I hadn't really considered how awkward this would be with just two people. I, I really don't know. <laughs> It's not really anonymous when there's only two people. Right. To... <laughs> well, the meetings themselves aren't anonymous when you're in them. <laughs> Have you ever heard of RR? RR? A for pirates. <laughs> Rational <laughs> recovery. Take that pain and turn it into something good. Something with purpose. Guilt, grief, suffering. Just depends on what we do with it. Poor girl. Nothing good came out of Joe Colley's drinking, and not a single good thing comes out of Lisa never being able to walk again. Nothing good came out of a metric ton of crude oil filling up the bay. And the only thing that lets people stand by watching all this suffering doing nothing is the idea that suffering can be a gift from God. What a monstrous idea, Father. Look, there's nothing in the scripture or in the world for that matter that suggests God negates personal accountability. I believe God can take our work, even our, even our awful works, and turn them into something else. I know he can find the good in them, find the love in them, whether we see it or not. He gave us free will. Right. Riley's definitely got to find his faith. I think that's what this show's going to be about. Yeah. God, please be Riley. Right? Like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh no. Oh, look at that. <laughs> didn't see him until he moved? I didn't see him until he moved. Saw his eyes. Very vampiric. That's what Riley saw at his window, too. Mm hmm. And what the kids saw on the island that night. There's nothing else to feed on on that island, so we had to come to this island to feed off of these people, right? I hope he doesn't feed off of her. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm so sorry. You did the right thing. It's better to be safe, you know? Is that why he was at her house? Smelled, Smelled her the blood? blood. Sarah! It's Sarah! Jesus, Mom! Go quick, go! I thought, I thought I saw your father. His clothes. I thought it was your dad. Dad's Pruitt. Dad. His hat and coat. Mm -hmm. Is her dad? No, oh, no. Who's gonna die? Yeah, we definitely we do a human death, right? Yeah. There's the abandoned house. And hopefully, the drug dealer dies first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Hello? Somebody there? I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch. <laughs> Hello? Somebody there? Had a dictaphone in there. It's gonna. 
Who's that? Who's that? Is that you, Ochre? Mm, it's like Smeagol. But bigger. Lots, lots bigger. Okay. Definitely winged. Winged demon vampire. Great. Super. Good morning, Father. Please, sir. Is it him after dark? I don't know. Maybe he's secretly thinking. Have we seen him at night yet? No. Nope. I feel like he's secretly thinking. How come she's not walking yet? <laughs> but why would he be healing all of them just to eat them all? I will put my trust in him. One thing I have asked of the Lord. One. She's gonna move her leg. Body of Christ, Lisa. Amen. He's like, I know she can walk. Body of Christ. What are you doing? Come on. Body of Christ. No, stop it. it that's cruel. Come on. Lisa, no, no, honey, it's what it's is wrong with you? Stop it. If this... Lisa. Oh. oh. Body of Christ. Amen. All right. Interesting. He's healing everybody. Yeah. And I told you me. that. I know you told, I told just, you this. I am just saying it out loud. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to think, like, what is the purpose? What I'm starting to think that thing at night is him at night. Maybe. Right? Because he had, like, whatever he did on his journey, because he's definitely fa he's definitely Father Pruitt, right? Glad you're finally catching up. You know. I'm just... I'm just... I'm, just <laughs> I'm putting it all just together teasing. after the episode to talk about. Okay, okay? for the viewers. For yeah. the viewers. Mm -hmm. So, whatever he did on his trip, or whatever he found... Holy Grail, maybe because uh, if you think about it, Holy Grail is supposed to give you eternal life if you drink from it kind of thing. If you think of Indiana Yeah, but Jones. they were more focused on the wine, not on the chalice. Yeah. So I don't think it's a Holy Grail, but it, some, something yeah. in similar in concept, yeah. I suppose. But then like he made this pact or something, or when the sun goes down, he's this vampiric creature, mm -hmm. winged demon creature that needs to drink blood. Could be. I just don't know... How this would be beneficial. How is it beneficial to heal everybody if he is the demon creature? He's healing people just to eat them. Maybe fresher, pure blood is more nourishing. Perhaps. But he did but why go to eat all the, the drug dealer first. <laughs> right. Why go, why go to all the effort, you know? Maybe we'll find out. Or perhaps he's only drawn to the blood of those that have not drank in it. So he's got his flock that he's trying to produce, and then he's going to kill everybody else that's not part of it? Could be. Could be why he was drawn to like you think pregnant really gal. Like he's the shepherd, and they're all his herd, mm -hmm. right? Kind of thing. I mean, I'm sure there's multiple meanings. There's got to be with Mike Flanagan, mm -hmm. right? There's got to be lots of layers of... This is a cool show. Yeah. I'm intrigued Not for much sure. scares yet. Just Thank little moments here and goodness. there. Oh my gosh. But uh, definitely like... It's building it, towards it's building something. something yeah. Up, right? yeah, building it's got, towards it's something. got a good mystery going on too. I'm liking that. Yeah. What else is on your mind? Anything else? What's the town going to say after mm -hmm. this girl's... Father's trying really hard to have Riley... Well, I think this might help Riley. Yeah. Right? Could be. She's trying really hard to get him his face back, so... His little brother's like got a crush on her, so... I think it could be... I think he's trying so hard to get Riley's faith back because he... Wants to not eat him, right? <laughs> now, I, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, he's he's definitely feeding these his flock. Yeah, but I think it's so that he doesn't have to consume them. But he's going to consume everybody else on the island. You think? Perhaps that's not part of the congregation. Perhaps. Bev. What a bitch. What is her deal? So apparently, she was behind this. So there was an oil spill that kind of killed this island, so mm -hmm. to speak. 
and she got everybody to take a settlement, settlement money, mm-hmm. and then they were given money to the back to the church, and the, she's like the what do you call it? The church um, secretary. secretary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then she poisoned that dog. Rude. Ugh. Can't really prove it. So I understand why the sheriff's guy. Like, I mean, yeah. I know she probably did it. Yeah, he knows too. Like, but I oh, can't she do it. it. I can't really do yeah, anything exactly. about it. No Smoking proof, gun, yeah. so to speak, right? That guy. First he was Father Dudley. Now he's got a cry over a dead dog. He's just hitting all my yeah, heartstrings these last couple weeks, man. He's a good actor. He really is, yeah. Well, what should people comment after this? Do we ever find out if the doctor is the love child of the priest. I think it's already obvious. Right? I think it's obvious. All right. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Because she did reference the mom father. just said, I just saw your father out the window, and we've already put it together kind of. That, yeah, but she did say, that. Mom, my da- dad's been dead for 15 years. But I think she was talking about her. Yeah. Mom. Biological father. Can't wait to see what the twist is because I yeah. feel like I'm, I'm piecing things together. Yeah. I don't know if I'm right, but I feel like I am. But I always kind of feel right about everything. So. Yeah. Let us know your theories, not spoilers, on why you think or why you thought maybe the priest is uh, healing everybody on the island. Everybody part of his congregation, right? Yeah. Let us know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out. We're trying to um, unsolve. We're trying to unsolve this mystery. We're trying to solve this mystery. (laughs) Also, check us out on social media at you, me, the movies on both Instagram and Twitter. Mm -hmm. Post updates there, a little behind the scenes and pictures and stuff like that. Also, we have a Patreon if you want early access to our videos, full and commentaries, and access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. See ya. She's running now. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <laughs> it's a lot easier to sneak out when you don't have to throw the wheel, uh, wheelchair, wheelchair through the, out the window. window. Yeah. <laughs>
Tomorrow morning I'm going to introduce myself to the parish and lie to them about Monsignor John Pruitt. Is this before the first Mass then? I don't know. Because he's introducing himself to the parish, so that, that must have been the first night he was there. I am going to tell them this lie for their benefit so that when it starts they'll be ready. When it starts? For the miracles that are to come. Oh, when the miracles start. Got a cough. Father, what's going on with him? I don't know. It's wrong, doesn't it, to interrogate a miracle, second guess a gift from God? Where'd you wander off to? She's probably doing jumping jacks upstairs. Sit and be fit. <laughs> you just can't. Do you know my daughter Sarah? I don't She's even know how I'm going to get you she down. Tell you She's a doctor. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. His steadfast love endures forever. What's the next miracle? I don't know, but I'm still not sure why he's, why he's coughing up blood. Yeah. What would happen to you? What would this community have thought of you if she had it? Well, but she did. And you had to know that. Okay, what are you asking? I'm asking, how did you know that? Call it a hunch. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she'd been drinking the wine. I suppose I'd want more. Yeah, They're wearing the same shoes. When are people going to notice that the drug dealer's missing? Uh, when, uh, when the town drunk doesn't get his diesel this week or whatever. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Green. Well, that's a lot of students for 120 some people in that town. 20 of them. They're all like the same age too. They they are all just like teenagers. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> Is his back better or? Yeah. Right. He just wanted, he just wants to he wants to dance. That's how good it's feeling. Yeah, they're gonna dance to Neil Diamond right here. I can just feel it. Oh, he knew what track he wanted to. Someone's getting laid tonight. <laughs> Someone else snuck out. Oh, she's running now. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <laughs> it's a lot easier to sneak out when you don't have to throw the, wheel, uh, wheelchair, the wheelchair through the, out the window. window. Yeah. <laughs> What's Riley doing? Gonna go hang out with his girlfriend. Oh, she was expecting him. Oh, had a drink ready and waiting. How much are we fast forwarding during this montage, you think? I don't know. Who's she poisoning now? Two weeks. <laughs> Uh, you boys line up. I'll, I'll take care of it. He's got to pull it out from the secret stash. Mm hmm I don't think it's lit. My bad. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What's he going to see? You can just say that was his to-go flask. Right. For what's her name? Right? Yeah. Abstracts, metaphors, colorful exaggerations. To us. You notice mom's not wearing her glasses anymore. Well, well I guess we knew that last episode. Yeah, she episode. took them off last episode, yeah. What I do have, though, and what God gives us plentifully are mysteries. God gives us miracles very rarely, here and there, but mysteries. So 
Sorry. What's going on? To bend softly as the word of God sweeps. No. Second chances, it turn. Mm. It. Does she drug him? Poison him? Why would she do that? I don't know. She saw something in his house. What do you think she saw? A picture of something. Him, Pruitt. As a kid, at, at his actual age, at this age. Yeah, right? all right. But why would she poison him? I don't know. Saul became a follower of Christ and then became the apostle Paul. Yeah. Mm. I was wondering why he took the name Paul, because he's one of the 12 apostles, right? When a horrible sandstorm overtook him, there had been recently horrible storms in the area. He heard this. He's out of a cave, perhaps. Door to some ancient ruin. As the family mind only sought shelter, so in he went eagerly into the darkness of the thing. The cave-like entrance that had just opened up in front of him until all light... Jesus. What the f***? It's just a dizzy spell. Maybe so. <laughs> Still. What do you find in that cave? You take care of people. Me and your mother. This whole island. You are a comfort to people. I'm proud of you. Thank you heard the doctor. Drink up. And I'm canceling all of your afternoon appointments. Oh, uh, Bab. Rest and you will get it. Do you think she's poisoning him and whatever he's drinking is counter like fighting it? Like Yeah. He's trying to counteract the poison that she's feeding him. Yeah. It's natural to be curious about other religions. You want from me, you won't leave a guy alone. Oh jeez. Did Joe know she was walking? I don't think so. Or has he so. just been like in a drunk stupor at his house yeah. the whole week? Or maybe it's just, just surprising just to see her in his house. It's just like I pictured it. Ceilings are really high for a trailer, but... The only thing standing in my way was hate. The only thing standing in your way is you. If God can forgive you, and he says he can, then I can forgive you. <laughs> and if I can forgive you, Joe Colley, then anyone can. Wow. What a scene. Good for her, right? <laughs> Holy s***. Is he going to start showing up at mass now, you think? Wouldn't be surprised if he did. You might find the fact that your son is interested in the Bible offensive. Not at I all. I suppose. But I would say... <laughs> we, we love Jesus. And we love the message that was revealed to him. Well, <laughs> I suppose we learn something new every day, don't we? If I went around handing out copies of the Quran to the children on this island, purely in the interest of the pursuit of knowledge, well, I'd expect you chase me out of town, Miss Keene. If I may, reading scripture in homeroom. Why, Sheriff, of course, I wouldn't run you out of town. No, she'd kill you. <laughs> With poison. It's just a book in the room, like a, a science book or a history book. It's actually very different. <laughs> An attack, Sheriff. I certainly admit that the Holy Bible, the Old Testament in particular. What an uncomfortable conversation. <laughs> this is a PTA meeting. <laughs> Looks like it. Next, what? Are we going to burn books we find even a smidge controversial? Oh, okay, God. She is so dramatic. <laughs> Father Paul said I should write letters, so I'm writing letters. Lots of letters. That's difficult. Writing them is hard. Delivering them, that's going to be harder. Is he writing letters to people on the island? or People he's done wrong like to. The family of the girl? Yeah, anybody throughout his life that yeah. he's feel like he's wronged. If anyone else talked about you like that, I'd... You know what? I'd kick their ass. <laughs> well, yeah? Yeah. Kick their ass? <laughs> I'd kick it, just like this. Oh! That was actually my thigh, so... <laughs> I'd kick their thighs. Yeah. <laughs> I'd kick their thighs. <laughs> Sarah, why I even bother telling you all of this? It's like I'm speaking in German for all the good that it does. Sarah, honey. It's not the time she learns about her dad. Oh, where have I been? Somewhere... Somewhere dark. But just now... 
It's like I woke up. When did you move me into the living room? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Told you we'd catch on. Oh. We're a trio now. That's bull. I'm sorry. That's bull. You've been coming here once a week, sometimes more, if we're honest, isn't it? I think there's something you can say to Joe that I can't, that nobody else can. And that's what this is for. So don't bull me. Just do it. Okay, Riley? <laughs> Got the father to swear. <laughs> He's like, great. Thanks. <laughs> Man, is she still poisoning him, or what's going I on? I don't know. I don't know. So confused. Or Bev Keen's con laundry. <laughs> or Beverly <laughs> Keen's Queen Evil Bitch Emporium. <laughs> Embezzlement <laughs> are us. Uh... Oh, you need a bigger sign. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're there, Joe. <laughs> Wait, you really are, aren't you? <laughs> what a fucking trip. <laughs> Used to becoming different people. Good night, Joe. Night, Riley. It's got to feel weird for Joe being appreciated for once, right? Yeah, and not totally drunk out of his mind for once, too. If he handed Lisa Scarborough a miracle... But let a child die of a brain tumor across the way on the mainland. No. No, that's not how it works, Ali. It's not. It's a heavy episode. Yeah. A lot of deep conversations going on. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Yep. Was the appropriate response. Nothing. Um. Seeing things. Oh. oh God, what is he thinking after seeing that? After that speech he just gave. Father. Ah! Oh God, not again! What's wrong with him? Ah! It's just like what the dog did. Oh. What the hell? She did it. Right? She poisoned the shit out of this guy. He's not. He's going to come back, right? I, I'm, I would assume so. Yeah. going to have another miracle and come back from the dead. Right. I might draw some red flags. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, I don't like that. Jesus. It's behind him now. Oh, God. This is like the descent with all these creepy cave. I can't even hardly watch it. So I just know it's going to pop up here. He is a vampire. I'm loving all these little plaques for all the chapters in this episode. It is mine finally found the word. The word was unearthed like the tomb was unearthed by the storm, and the word was angel. Angel. You see that glow around his head there? Yeah. I just don't. What? And outstretched stigmata of the word of the Lord. And from the angel's rest, the blood of life flowed, and uh, uh, these words in the old man's old mind again and again and again and again as he drank. What are you thinking? I am not so sure how I feel about that. About that creature being an angel? <laughs> well, demons are fallen angels, aren't they? Yeah. But I knew where this angel was needed, and so I'd travel and I'd wait. And the angel would catch up. Uh, when it did, I knew I'd have to hide it. 
And so I'd hid it, God, that I might bring it safely home to the people who needed it most. And by your grace, I did. That's what the wine is. It's its blood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Monsignor! Oh, thank God! Oh, it's a miracle! Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God! It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Oh. It's a miracle. This Beth psycho just, bitch she was, just was testing him it. Yes. To see if he'd come back. Yep. Oh, she saw that. Mm-hmm. He's right there in the news. I think he would have known to take that down. <laughs> if it's in him at that age. Yeah. From when they remodeled the church. All right. Well. Well, that episode was kind of the reveal mm-hmm. of something we've already figured out. Yes. Right? Yeah. That was definitely the what he found, which we were kind of guessing, but also that that was Pruitt the whole time, right? Right. Bev poisoned him, you think? Yeah. Just to see. Just to test it. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. she's a psycho bitch. <laughs> Not a godly woman at all. Just yeah. a crazy f***ing crazy woman. That's about it. That Bev's crazy. What do you think about the vampire? I don't know what it's angel doing. that he found. Uh, I don't feel good about that. Yeah, I feel that perhaps that that is a, a misinterpretation. A, well, I think I'm, I'm thinking about this as a media in a vacuum, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we have knowledge of vampires and stuff like that because of Hollywood movies for the last you know hundred years talking about them. Sure, but like if you think about if this story was in a universe where like zombies attack, people don't know. About like sure, it's they've never experienced no it, zombies, right? so that yeah, so would, they wouldn't. So be like, nice. this is somebody who's never really known vampires. That you think it's a vampire? Well, he bit his neck. Yes, yeah. And then I mean, it's vampire, in a lot of vampire vampire. movies, the but head the vampire bites the neck, and then it can either let the victim die or turn the victim by feeding his own so blood back. So you think Monsignor is a vampire himself now? In a way. Most vampire lore is, so you have the, the lead vampire, and then everything else is like his disciples, right? His sure. Apostles. I mean, vampires are a Christian interpretation. It, they came from the Christian story of drinking the blood and having eternal life. It's kind of an allegory to Christ. Okay. So, and the crosses are, right, you know, the whole cross yeah, is yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. It's kind of like a reversal of the whole... The, okay. The biblical tale. So if there's a head vampire, all of his apostles under him are also vampire, which is not as powerful, so to speak. Sure. But if the head vampire were to die, the rest of them are released from that. Right? We gotta watch more vampire movies. I feel movies, like apparently. we are I feel like you got a lot of vampire movies to get making through. in making this more than it is. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm giving you some background on vampire. We got to watch it. Oh, you read a spoiler or something? No, I'm telling you, I've watched plenty of vampire movies. I have watched many vampire movies myself. I do understand. Not vampire diaries. I do understand how the whole vampire concept works. I just am having a hard time processing how that would be happening here because we don't see father feeding on people right now, which is what vampires do. But he is feeding them the blood of that vampire. So you think he's turning all of them into vampires? No, I'm just thinking he's, like we talked about last time, making it his flock kind of thing. Yeah, but he's but not. unbeknownst to them. But he's not being a vampire himself. So I just no. don't, I, I don't make that, I'm not making that connection right now. All right. Well, maybe the show will get into that more for I would imagine <laughs> if we just keep watching it, yeah. we'll figure it out. I was waiting for that thing to show up because like the whole first 40 minutes of this episode it was just all yeah heavy all words dialogue yeah speeches from all the characters and yeah the one scare was the flashlight in the eyes and you're wondering what's going on why is bev poisoning obviously poisoning the father test right? it she wanted to figure out if he's immortal yeah. i love the uh what are those called in the church the plaques of the crucifixion crucifixion oh yeah uh the stages of the, cro- of the cross yeah is that what they're called just the stages of the cross yeah because that's what this was a play on is uh, the his, stages of the cross yeah. yeah with the little carving the wood carvings i love that 
uh, very cool v- visual for the backstory they were given in this episode. So stations, stations of the cross. It just came to me. Like, if you think about it, there's like 12 or something like that. Stations of the cross. And it shows Jesus being crucified and then dying and then yeah, it's definitely a play the rock on, being moved away and all that kind of stuff. It's definitely a play on, on the stations of the cross. Yeah. I just don't. And, and another thing, he found that cave under the sand. That's kind of like a analogy for the cave that Jesus was buried in. The rock was removed and he wasn't there, but this time it was something there. Yes, so. it's all very metaphorical. <laughs> well, it's midnight mass, so right. Flanagan's going hardcore into the religious the horrors yeah. of the Bible, right? Yeah, mixing some biblical with some horror, right? So yeah. I'm I'm liking it. Perfect. Yeah. Well, what should people comment on after this one? Favorite station of the cross. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. Are we? You think we're right about Bev? Oh, Poison definitely right think, about Bev. Yeah. yeah. What is her end game? Is she just trying to like? I don't know. Give just give us your thoughts on Bev after three she's episodes. Trying to play God, right? I feel like she's going to end up being Judas. So yeah, tell us what you think of Bev after this episode. Yeah. Like, killing the dog and being just an uppity bitch the whole first three episodes That's of right. the series, right? Also, like, comment, and subscribe while you're out there. Come hang out. We're going to keep on watching Midnight Mass. Yeah. Check out our Instagram and Twitter, at you, me, the movies if you want updates, a little behind-the-scenes pictures, and just some, you know, us being people. Yep. Right? Also, we got a Patreon. If you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, link's down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Right. Oh, now he's like, well, I can go outside because the sun's down. We're going to have to start doing mass at night. Midnight mass. <laughs> it, you just realized that? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you and me and the TV. And it's time to take communion again for midnight mass. Communion? Communion. With Midnight Mass. Are you ready? Yeah. Do you remember where we were last time? Yeah. Father Pruitt died another time in his living room this yeah. time uh, because he was poisoned to death by Crazy Bev. And then he came back to life because it's a miracle. How's he going to explain that? Bev will explain it as God's miracle. <laughs> Something. You think he's going to put two and two together that Bev poisoned him? I or hope think so. he's in the dark about that? I hope he figures it out. Yeah. Also, we found out about the creature yeah. that he brought back from the Holy Land, he found, found in, the in the middle cave. of the desert as an old man, knocked 60 years off his life. He thinks it's an angel. Yeah, well, it might, might be. Might, 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 might as well, idea. might well be. We don't know yet. No, we don't. Cannot but, speculate at this point. What should is, we jump not in angel? and find out? Yeah. But Let's first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us. I'm not going to talk about Instagram and Facebook because I'm annoyed about it. So yeah. At You Me The Movies is our handle on social media, so check it out. Also, we have a Patreon if you want to check out early access, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. Let's watch some more Midnight Mass. Thank you for getting me in before school. (laughs) Do we see her today? Oh, it's her? Book four. Lamentations. That's not good. I didn't take a huge and slip into that elastic waistband Uh-oh. and eat everything and be comfortable all the time. Come on, baby. I keep waiting for all those weird cravings everyone keeps talking about. Stop talking. And Lucky Charms. Oh, yeah, no. Is that okay? I thought we weren't supposed to use that too much. It's okay today. When you can't find the baby's heartbeat. Any difference in the last 24 to 48 hours? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, even yesterday. Sh- Where's the heartbeat? We're supposed to hear the heartbeat, aren't we? Hey, let me see. Aaron. What do you see? Uh, I, I mean it. I, I see nothing. I, I mean, there's nothing here. I don't, I don't understand. There's nothing in your uterus. Miss Carrie? And, and you wouldn't have been the first person to go through something like this and maybe block it out, Aaron. But there's nothing. You must have miscarried. I didn't. Where's my baby? 
I'm gonna put you in touch with a colleague on the mainland. She's a great counselor. Where's my baby? Where's her baby? What the <laughs> does that mean? Did the creature take it last night or something? Stole it out of her womb without her noticing? Well, she was asleep? Not likely. Mass canceled today. Cause, remember because he died? And then he came back to life? Father! Oh. Well. You gonna try to poison him some more? Because he's a vampire now. <gasps> oh! Because he died. He died. Now he's transitioned. Ah. I know that about vampire tales. The venom was working itself through, and then he died, and now he's a vampire because he came back to life. Oh, jeez. That's not going to feed that hunger. Now he's going to have to eat he, people. He's going to have to eat Bev. Bummer. Oh, well. It's just not right now. It's no appetite for soup. No, no, no. He wants blood. I, I want to um, confide something in you. <clears throat> He has the urge to suck your blood. It's like I can feel God move inside me. <gasps> That's wonderful. God wants to eat her. <laughs> oh, he burned himself in the sunlight. Oh, yep. Totally a vampire. Good call. If the head vampire lets you drink from his blood, his bite won't kill you. But if you die, you become one. Right, because right. you have vampire blood running through Vent your veins. Mm -hmm. Is he going to be pissed that Monsignor Pruitt died and is now creature of the night? Isn't the whole point for them to become vampires, though? I don't know. It's almost like he, he let him come back home. So that he could bring, the, like, he was using him as a lure. To get more. Right. Blood bags. Yep. I it to you, but I didn't get very far. You just said you didn't care about the internet or about tech or anything else. <laughs> the point is, one of their parents has failed them something awful, and your mother's a saint, so I guess that just leaves me. <laughs> well, at least he's admitted it. Mom, you're up again. Felt like a walk. She's looking younger. Yeah, she is. She's turning. Yeah. What was my dad's name? Mom. Biological or? The hell? Vampire blood. It's getting hit by the light. So she has been drinking the wine then? That was Aaron's blood. Yep. So she's got vampire blood running through her. So she... My mom goes with a passage from Lamentations. It's a special <laughs> kind of self-pity to identify with the destruction of Jerusalem. <laughs> she said, everyone gets their wings clipped at some point. And I asked the next question. Did you get your wings clipped? And she said, yep. Oh, yes. And I had you. Hmm. Day you were born. <laughs> what a bitch. She saved me. And now she's just gone. And how is that possible? How is that possible? I have this, um, this recurring dream about it since I was inside. I'm floating out in the middle of the bay. The dream always ends at the sunrise. Always. I can never get further than that sunrise. I'm gonna find out what happened to her baby. I think Wait. the vampire blood absorbed it or something. De-aged it until it didn't exist anymore, yeah. you think, maybe? He's got hunger pains? Something. Ooh. He gripped it so much that it dug in. Oh, <laughs> oh, that kind of tastes good. Ow, 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 ow,
Tastes so good you want to eat your own blood? Ow. Don't wither away. Yeah, how does that work? How's my night gonna be, Joe? Oh, shit, how should, how should I know? <laughs> what is Monsignor Perot gonna do when he realizes what he thought was a miracle to save the whole town is actually going to turn them all into vampires? <laughs> right? And now he's like, well, I can go outside because the sun's down. We're gonna have to start doing mass at night. Midnight mass. <laughs> It, you just realized that? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. I was going to say it as a joke. You said it seriously. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have to start doing midnight mass. <laughs> I owe your mother her mass. He's got to finish his work now. <laughs> She recognizes him. God, I have so much to tell you. <laughs> Clinical death. And a bit later, like five whole minutes later, my brain cells start dying. Maybe my brain releases a flood of DMT. And I'm seeing this firework display of memories and imagination, and I am just dreamed to end all dreams. Everything is as it was before me. There one moment and then just scattered across the goddamn cosmos. I feel like he's thought about this before, huh? <laughs> he was in prison for a while. I think he thought about it for a long time. And I'll see my little girl and she will be happy and safe. And I will be so glad to meet her. I really hope you're right. Me too. Man, makes me wonder if Mike Fleming and Kate Siegel have had a miscarriage. And that was kind of their... Their story. Their way of mourning and a sense of art. Mm. God, he's losing it. He's going to eat whoever walks in that door next. He needs a... Uh, his angel to show up and talk to him about what the hell's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you come? Why would you come? Yeah. Uh oh. I had a hard day, but I did good. I, I didn't drink. Yeah, that's excellent. You said come by here if I ever felt like if it got too much. Should have gone to Riley's. Uh-oh. Take that news clip down. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, Joe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Joe, go. Joe, go, go, go. Get get out of there. I'm glad that you found strength today. Because I know that compulsion. <laughs> He's feeling it right now. <laughs> so I'm proud of you. God is proud of you. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Better late than never, right? <laughs> God bless you. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna, um, I'm just you, gonna. You need AA for vampires. <laughs> what the f is wrong with you? Stop it! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh, jeez. See you later, Joe. Oh, is Joe gonna die or is he gonna turn? Boy. We'd have to feed him his blood, right? What was different? Out on the water. Just like always. Waiting on the sun, but this time, you're there too. 
What do you think that means? Finally somebody could row. Or that he sees no future for either of them now, <laughs> right? Because his dream's kind of a depressing one. I'm not going to do communion or anything. I know. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> So it's daytime. Mm-hmm. How's this gonna go? Uh -oh. What's she gonna find? Is he gonna be sucking off Joe's head again? Still? Joe's evaporated body, like all drained of blood. Father, you're almost a half hour late. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's not even bothered by this scene. No, she's like, hmm. Okay. This is unique. Okay. We've got to get you cleaned up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay. <laughs> You're going to stay here. You are <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. You did this, Bev. You turned him into a vampire by killing him. She is unique. This is, this is, this is... What the hell did you do? The man who acts presumptuously by not obeying the priest who stands to minister there before the Lord, your God, that man shall die. And Bev will kill him. <laughs> right? Yeah. I don't know. Something came over me. I really, I don't. Because really... something. I don't know. We're alike and drowned the world when we were too lost to our sins. Old Testament stuff. <laughs> so if you wanna question him now, wait. If you wanna pick and choose which one of his works. She is lengthy of tongue, right? Mm -hmm. Do not cherry pick the glories of God. Now wrap in the carpet. Can't cherry pick. I just want to know how this could happen. Well, I don't believe anything has. You weren't even pregnant. Yeah. Baby. No, I mean, your HCG levels are normal. You never had the baby. Yeah. I was wondering if perhaps we could arrange for you to speak with someone in our psych department. <laughs> yes, I keep all done. Immaculate misconception. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That is not what she wanted to hear. What is she thinking after that? She's thinking something's fishy here. What the hell happened? Yeah, I'm thinking that the wine. Ooh. Oh, hello. Uh oh. It's one way to be real awkward. Nothing to worry about. Feeling much better as the day went on. Joe's not going to make it, though. No, Joe isn't joining us today, actually. No, no, please don't tell me he fell off. I... No, he's off island today, visiting his sister, I think. Uh, he's... No. He's going to be back. His sister? Yeah, that's right. Is Riley suspicious yeah, now? Yeah, he's like, why would he lie about it? That he's brought Mildred Gunning the sacrament every day since he's been here. Every day. Yeah, she's about 30 years younger already. <laughs> Father Paul lied to me tonight. So believe and pray for me. But just please be careful. That's all I ask. I'm wondering right now if the body can metabolize vampire blood out. Like, is Erin screwed? Because she, she drank. Al she'll always have vampire blood running through her now. Or can they, like, run away. The other thing I've been wondering is they haven't had communion for two days because he hasn't had mass for two days. Right. Is it going to wear off kind of thing, right? Like you're thinking about the metabolism. I'm, I'm about hoping that, yeah. that it does at this right. rate. He's got cravings again already. Um, there he is. That 
coat hides his wings really well. Oh no. He's going to Joe's. Is he going to find... No, he's going to confront Father about it. Oh, shit. Is he still there? Uh Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, God. Oh, God, Riley. (gasps) Oh! Well, do they turn him? You think he's going to be like Paul now? I hope not, but he either dies or they turn him. Depend if that guy drinks a bunch, he might be a little kid tomorrow. <laughs> not going to like Benjamin Button. Well, that's what he did to Monsignor Pruitt. That's what's happening to everybody else that's been drinking the wine. Oh, well, they it's healing them. Monsignor Pruitt was healed back to a time when he was healthy. Yeah, but, but is he gonna? Riley's healthy, so I just don't. God, I almost hope that he dies, which is horrible. He's but the I... main character, he can't die halfway through the show. He might. Yeah, that'd be weird. And then Aaron will go on like a what the f- rampage, right? Trying to solve this mystery. Yeah, I was not expecting that. I thought he was gonna go to Joe's, but no, he went to confront him. Okay, man. That was terrifying, the thing. Like, what a great camera angle for that. How cool. Well, that throws a monkey wrench into my my thoughts I was having this. I was like, the sheriff and Riley and Aaron and the doctor were all going to have to team up to, like... Because they're the only ones not drinking the Kool-Aid, except for Aaron is drinking the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Hmm. Just, my mind is just, like... (laughs) What happens next? What what happens to Riley here? I think he dies. You think he dies? Yeah. Or is he going to let him drink his blood and heal him back up? I'm just wondering. God, I hope that doesn't happen, though. I don't want that to happen to Riley. Have turn him? Yeah, I don't want him to have to become Father Paul. Oh, boy. Because then he'll eat Aaron. Well, Tempted to eat Aaron. Paul didn't have the hunger until he died. Right. So Riley wouldn't have the hunger until he died. Don't you think he'd be slowly dying, though? It seems like Father Pruitt Paul was doing fine until Bev killed him with the poison. That's true. I guess we never... We'll, we'll, we've, we don't know. We'll never know. Didn't really address that whole poison anything anymore after that, though, so... No. But it had to have been Bev, right? For sure. Yeah, Father Paul died the exact same way that the dog died after Bev poisoned yeah. the dog. Anything else going through your mind after that one? I think we had the immaculate misconception there with Aaron. The it's, wine just yeah, that's crazy. It healed. It healed her body. Yeah, I mean, it healed her body back before she was pregnant. Correct. Right? Yeah, but it like happened overnight because she said she was she felt feeling it. Mm-hmm. kicks the day before, and then boom, it's gone. Which makes me wonder if the thing came to her at night because remember it was on mm-hmm. her roof that one night. Yeah. Cause she doesn't. She doesn't remember her dreams. Yeah, force fed the blood while she was sleeping deeply. Yeah, Oof, I don't know. So creepy to think about. Yeah, this was the middle middle point, right? We got three episodes left. What are your overall thoughts so far? You liking it? Oh, for sure, definitely liking it. I just like a like every other Mike Flanagan show that we've watched so far. It's just kind of like what? What's gonna Where happen next? is he gonna go with this? Yeah, yeah. how is he gonna take this? Yeah, yeah which a lot direction? of deep deep. Uh, hidden meanings the, so the far last too two episodes this episode and the episode before lots of dialogue i mm. mean everything that he do, has done so far that we've watched has been dialogue heavy anyways but real deep deep thoughts and yeah. yeah yeah deep i mean given the content that would make sense yeah, thoughts but. of faith thoughts of loss thoughts of mm-hmm. you know self-worth interesting lots, lots of little different meanings sprinkled in the last couple episodes right yeah 
What should people comment on after this? Uh, how good your beard looks. Oh. Yeah. How how good does my beard look? Freshly trimmed. And <laughs> people want to comment about that. I'm just noticing it myself. Without spoilers, after you watch this episode, what was your guess on what would happen to Riley? Is he dead? Yeah. Turned? What's going on? Let us know yeah, in the without comments Without spoilers. Below. Yeah, without spoilers. Like, what was your guess after getting as far as we are, right? I mean, by what the time this episode airs, we'll probably have already watched yeah, it. Yeah, we're binging so, it pretty good. So probably it's okay even if spoilers happen, but try not to. Yeah, for, try not to. For, for the people that, that are watching along with us week to week, right? Anything else? Like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out. We're going to keep watching Midnight Mass. It'll be over in a, a few episodes. So. Yeah. And if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, check out our Patreon link down below. Get access to all that, depending on the level you pick. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. certain that's a good idea. Yeah. I'll stop him. Stop me. From eating her. Look, okay. let me go. I just want to go home. I just want to I mean, how could you resist that? <laughs> good point. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for some more Midnight Mass. Get those communion wafers ready. Why? Every time it's got to be so corny about everything. Do you practice it? Yeah, I do. Practice it before we start? Every time. What happened at the end of Last Midnight Mass? It's impossible to forget because Riley got eaten by this vampire. Or at least his blood was being sucked by this vampire creature. Yeah. And the Monsignor pulled the door closed. Yep. Letting it happen. happened to see... So, a couple of options. Either this vampire creature kills Riley, or this vampire creature sucks his blood and then does what he did to Monsignor and turns him into a vampire. Yeah. Either way, not great. So, what are we... What Should we just jump in and see what happened to Riley? Yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us. This... This show's crazy. Let's watch it. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. Let's watch some more Midnight Mass. Here we go. Yeah, never came home. Book five, Gospel. Rumor is he's been spending a lot of time with Miss Green. Well, good for him. He's an adult. He can find just a little comfort in his... Good for him. Well, that's not very Catholic of you, honey. <laughs> oh, no. Wow, you look... Do you like it? I dug it out of that footlocker in the closet upstairs. 20 years younger? <laughs> Still, I think it fits pretty well, don't you think? Shall we? When is she going to start freaking out? <laughs> His daddy never did right by him and me. Well, I did my best. Oh, the drug dealer. All right, both taken off. Bill. His name is Bill. My so-called friends called him Bull when he started selling the weed. Well, at least they didn't call him Bong. <laughs> and enough at church making a big show of how pious you are because you sure as ain't Christians. Ma'am, I'm not Christian. You know what I'm <laughs> When something like this happens, we are all supposed to be the same. So they all got kind of like southern accents, so it makes me think like... North she Car does. North Carolina coast or something? Maybe. She's the only one with a southern accent. Maybe she's a... Oh, the doctor's mom, too. Oh, yeah. Dolly. Oh, God. What's uh, going on? Oh. oh. 
Nelly. She actually looks younger than her daughter. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I thought he was with you. Joe? Yeah, it's not suspicious at all. Three people from the tiniest island ever go like missing. One percent of the population has all of a sudden disappeared. Great, I'd appreciate that. All right, thank thanks, Mike. Sheriff's about to get real busy. He went to AA at St. Patrick's with Joe Colley. Joe was there? You sure? I don't know. I just assume so, because he's going to those meetings. And I then... believe you. All right, I, I'm, I'm not trying to pry. I'm just hoping he said something, anything that, that might tell us where he went. All right, it could yeah, be he's got to be putting two to two together with Joe yeah. was with him at AA, and he's missing two. What's going on? Was he afraid of it, intrigued by it, or? He seemed fine. But that's what they say. People who aren't okay. People who, they say that about people who kill themselves. That they seemed fine. Oh, did his wife commit suicide? No, his wife had pancreatic cancer. Oh, that's right. Just the way he was looking, I was like, it close to home for him or something. That's right, she died of cancer. Special night, boys. Eyes up, ears open. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? What's happening tonight? Beverly Keen. Oh. God gave you back to us. So even Mildred's weary of Bev. It's because Bev's a freak. The gospel of the Lord. Um. Look at the crucifix. Yeah, it's covered. Is our friend behind the covering? You think it's Riley? Or a demon? Boy, that would suck and barely controllable emotion barely controllable that's what jesus felt what if it's riley and then what if he brings riley back to life that'd be really creepy <laughs> uh he has a few allies and then more a congregation and then more and more people spread that good news tell that good story and then god has an army I can feel my blood pressure rising. Borders. <laughs> God's army. Now, make no mistake, it is a war. That's what an army is for. So, as a congregation, as God's army... Making an know? army of vampires? Sarah's like, I could have picked a weird time to come back to church. <laughs> Son. Just look at what Jesus had to endure today. We had to call it the New Covenant. She's not liking him. No, she's like, what's happening here? Welcome to God's army. Oh, God. You know, we're going to do great things. <laughs> okay. His sermons are intense. Yeah, they give me anxiety. <laughs> I don't want you going back there ever again. What? That Something's is wrong with him. My church. No oh, God. Is it Riley? This is Vampire Riley. Oh. Uh, Where the hell have you been? I have been calling you all day. I'm sorry. Don't do that. Where were you? Where were you? Do you remember a few days before you left town? I was eaten and turned into a vampire, and now I'm here. Smoked a pack of cigarettes, watched the sun come up. Can you do that with me now? Don't do it. Can you go for a ride? Oh, God. Well, Riley's alive. No. He's <laughs> undead. Where's he taking her? I don't know, somewhere to eat her? To the little island? And I've got to ask now. What's this about, Riley? He brought her out here for the demon to get her. Right where nobody could see it. I'm going to tell you a story, but you're not going to believe it. I just need you to listen. Can you promise me that? Yeah, I can. Hey, hey, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Don't, don't try. I'm trying to talk. You just... 
Just relax, you focus on breathing, okay? You're doing great. No! Oh, oh, okay, hey. You're fine, stop. Oh. Oh. Shh, 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 Hey, you're okay. See, God still has a plan, and death isn't part of it anymore. Not for all of us. We don't have to do How are you feeling? A bit rough. Here, please, have a seat. Weirdest AA meeting ever. Oh, he's hungry. I can, uh... Um, well, I, I can't exactly explain, but I can give it a good try. The important thing is not to go outside right now. I'll explain everything that I can to you, and you will feel better when I do. So, I doubt that. We're having the meeting. <laughs> I promise it's okay. You've had a long night. And now he's at VA. <laughs> Vampires Anonymous. <laughs> right. And I send the boy home, tell him to come back in three days. So three days pass, the boy returns, and, and it was better. Yeah. Is running around that little box as right as rain. And Just I, caught a new mouse. <laughs> moment, it sustained him for what? Was it almost a decade? That's him, right? Nothing at all. How do you know that story? Who are you? You know who I am. Come on. It's Pruitt. Yeah, that's their story. Serious ways, but he does. I can testify to that. And. He worked through me, and Joe Colley was called home. Killed him. It's not as simple as that. No, no, you f***ing killed him. You and that, that thing. Riley? No, what was that f***ing thing? You have to calm down. What the f*** was that thing? An angel. Oh, good. He's up. A little worse for wear. <laughs> Bev. She just walks around the blood pile. Come over here. Will you stand here? Stand. Is Bev a vampire already, you think? No, she's just evil. <laughs> okay, she's just evil. Are you certain that's a good idea? Yeah. I'll stop him. Stop me. From eating her. Look, okay. just, let me go. I just want to go home. I just want to I mean, how could you resist that? <laughs> good point. All right, a little closer. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. just a little bit, a little bit closer. Sturgeon, I will be in the rectory when you're ready for the next part, Monty. I'll draw back the curtain when we're done. What's the next part? You have no idea. So what did you feel when she was close to you? Real bad hunger pains. He had taken that guilt. He had cleansed my conscience, for I had simply done his will. A murderer, maybe. So is Moses. I mean, I'm hardly unique as a soldier of the Lord. I'm not hardly unique in this room either, am I? I mean, you've killed someone. Oh, ouch. I killed Joe. I watched myself do it with my own hands, and I have no guilt, none, no remorse. <laughs> I have been spared all of that. How does it make you feel? Angry. Nope. How does that make you feel? Fucking angry. No! Annoyed? How does it make you feel? Jealous? Jealous. Yeah. God and Heavenly Father, grant us the serenity to accept that which we I am sorry, by the way, that you were frightened last night. I, I, I was frightened, too, when it happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> All the people at the tomb when they rolled away the rock. They were all frightened. All of them. Miracle. I am frightened of him. Mia was scared. We were all tested. But for some reason, Riley Flynn, God has chosen you. You. To receive this blessing and we will not question his will. That's all that's important right now. You are being tested. Oh, she's jealous. She wants to be a vampire. It's God's will. God's will. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> Do not mock God's will. 
We know it from his own word, don't we, Sturge? <clears throat> Sturge is the one they're going to feed off of here? Real drink, and whomever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will remain in me, and I in them. Gospel of John. And it's pretty specific, isn't it? <laughs> You ask, the fifth bowl of God's wrath plunges the world into darkness, which won't be an issue for you. <laughs> Blessed among men smirking when I say God's will. She's so envious. Yeah. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Just saying, Sturgis is Jesus? <laughs> Gonna happen. This is I never place. drink the wine. I never do. Accept it. I don't like it. With serenity. That's blood. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't drink that. <laughs> Amen. After, and that's why we share this gift. He's just like preaching justification, right? Like he's just like trying to justify all of the horrible things you've done by saying it's good it's fine it's i don't fine. know if it's so much justification i think it's something we talk about after it's deep discussion the wonders that you will experience out there you, you'll see things you never saw before colors lights that you'll hear things smell things just all in the dark though not everyone is ready for the lord's revelation riley jesus took care of <laughs> But whoever you choose to enter communion with, whoever serves God's purpose for you, and you are in the communion of saints, remember that it's a gift. And God will tell you who to share it with. Oh my God. He's going to share it with Aaron. I hope not. Beverly. But if he tells the people. What of it? That's what apostles are for. The doors stay open as the gates are always open. How else does gospel spread? She is so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just standing over his parents' room. Right yep, now. super creepy. of his loved ones and seeing if God's will is speaking to him. So you've told me that story. You brought you out there in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> because oh God, don't eat her. I mean, I'm not scared. Out of you. Is this like an Ella, uh, Bella and Edward sort of situation, or? This is way better than Twilight, babe. I really hope he doesn't eat her. Bring you out here to scare you, to isolate you. Right. What is he seeing? Stars. Just more clearly. I knew you wouldn't believe any of this unless you saw. I want you. Oh. Run. The sun's coming but up. I believe you're gonna row back there and do. He's killing thing. himself in front of her to know that, he, to tell her that she, what everything he just said is true, so she knows what she's up against. I love you, Aaron Green. I love you my whole life, one way or another. I love you too. Oh, that sucks. I did my best.
Father Paul's going to be pissed. That he just offed himself? Yeah, one of, one of his apostles just killed himself. Also, did the boat not catch on fire? He was on fire inside of it. I think, well, once his he was gone, the fire probably went out. There's no more flames. Also, Kate Siegel. Oh my god. That scream was amazing. It was tortured. It was impressive. All right. Also, wow. What? What's going on in your head? So many things. Like, Father Paul's going to feel like that is a... Uh, like Riley not having faith, right? Not having enough faith to believe in his in the, in the God and his path forward. Correct, to be a warrior of God, yeah. like he was just preaching in a sermon. Yeah, exactly. And really, I think that is Riley having faith in God and trusting that this is the wrong path. Yeah, that whatever Father Paul, whatever path Father Paul put him on, was not the right one. Yeah. Wow. This is a a really. I'm loving it because it's taking, so Monsignor Pruitt Mm -hmm. is a devout Catholic priest, right? So his faith is unquestioned. Mm -hmm. And he finds in the Holy Land, even though he was, you know, dementia, whatever, what he thinks is an angel, right? Right. Which is actually a vampire. And so he thinks because this angel resurrected him. Right. That he's now doing that's God's right. work. Yeah. Well, right. I, I, I've, that's what's so fascinating about this. All of his speeches to Riley this episode mm-hmm. were complete, like, truths. Like his, yeah, yeah. his faith. Completely. His complete faith. Yeah. His complete faith in God has led him to believe that only an angel would resurrect him yeah. and save him and do these so things. So that what, no matter what he does was, now... That it was only God's will that would do this. It's the righteous path. Right. Yeah. It's kind of... I mean, it's really interesting just because... I mean, it makes you draw parallels to real life mm-hmm. and how devout religious people often feel like whatever yeah. path they're on is the righteous path, yeah. right? I and mean, maybe it's not. Not saying that devout people are not on a righteous path, because I'm sure most are, but <laughs> no, it just what, it's interesting, the parallels there. What I'm loving about this is Mike Flanagan, who's obviously was raised Catholic, mm-hmm. he's taking these stories from the Bible and the gospel of the Bible and like taking something else that was actually spawned from the Bible itself, but he's kind of like combining them back together. Yeah. Because right? almost showing you how the Bible in its interpretation can be like both, Jesus was a vampire, both good and, and or bad, right? right. Like it, the interpretation can be used for good as well mm-hmm. as bad. But the whole like communion, which has been a huge theme for this whole mm-hmm. series since the very beginning, this is my body given up to you. This is my blood given up for you. Mm-hmm. That's literally what is happening. So now are we to think that Jesus is a vampire? (laughs) (laughs) I I think it's playing on that concept. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and I think it's a very cool conglomeration of everything, Mm -hmm. right? Intrigued on to see where this all goes. Me too. Like, is this a one season show or I I feel like it is because that's his. I would imagine. His jam. Mm -hmm. The whole concept is this could be multi seasons, really. Yeah. he, He, I think he does a good job of tying things up. I have a feeling sense. like so this is going to be tied up by the end. I think. I think it will be tied up. And I think what happened at the end of this episode is the steps towards that yeah. ending with Riley showing Aaron, look what happened to me. Don't let this happen to you. Right. This is what's going on in the island, telling her the whole truth. Yep. right? And then sacrificing himself. So she truly believes it. Mm-hmm. So that when she rose back to the island, there's no doubt in her yeah. mind that this is actually. Happening. And so people that will be on her side will be the sheriff the doctor the doctor and her mother because the mother saw yeah she knew that that's not the man that i love it's a false prophet that is a a different man very fitting that monsignor pruitt and father paul are very different people Mm -hmm. not the same i mean technically the same person but in belief but she completely different but she was able to see that after she came back from her she's really the only one that knew who Monsignor right. Pruitt was at that mm-hmm. at his age. It's interesting. I can't very interesting. I can't wait to see how this all wraps up. I know, up. yeah, it's super interesting. What else is on your mind? Anything else after this episode? So we thought Riley might have been dead last episode, but now we know he really is dead. Yeah. Right. So the main character is killed off with two hours left to go. Yeah, I mean I just Flanagan does a great job of just kind of making you question 
everything. Yeah. <laughs> right? Just kind of making you question everything you thought you believed, everything that you think you understand a little bit, mm -hmm. everything that you've interpreted in your mind. Yeah, like the whole time until I saw the sun rising on his face, I was like, Riley, no way. He's not going to turn her. He's just killing himself. Yeah. I, wow. I thought maybe he wanted to make her his community so they could be, you know, together forever. Right. But no. You went the but this isn't Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than Twilight. <laughs> so what should people comment on? I don't know. For those knowledgeable in the vampiric world with the, you know, the vast majority, without giving, you know, specific details from a certain piece of media, fill us in on some of the, the lore of vampires that we might be missing here. Yeah, right? I feel like it. So that we can because I definitely maybe have don't more knowledge don't get it all. Episodes, yeah, right? I mean the only without knowledge... spoilers of what this story wraps up into, but just like the general lore yeah. of the vampire world. That'd be helpful, probably. Yeah. Anything else? Like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out. We got two hours of this left. Yep. I'm kind of sad to see it go because it's really good. interesting. I mean, all these actors are just so they're just fantastic. Yeah, love the to dialogue. See them feast on the what they're Father giving. Paul dialogue oh he is amazing this. oh my gosh he i don't who's that actor that plays him? i gotta look him up he is killing it mm -hmm. like so much dialogue and he's just delivering it all in very impressive ways yeah yeah i'm impressed also check out our instagram and twitter yeah. at you me the movies if you want to follow us there to get updates little behind the scenes pictures and stuff like that at you me the movies on both twitter and instagram also if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see on instagram and twitter yeah. let us know because i struggle some days most days to figure out yeah. where i mean we try to avoid some areas just for anonymity's sake but if you have something in particular you'd like to see on instagram comment comment below also we have a patreon if you want early access to our videos full length commentaries and access to polls to help us pick what we watch next links down below check it out until next time have a good one bye Does he have a gun? <laughs> Not that a gun works against vampires, but... Maybe if it has silver bullets? That's for werewolves. And don't be ridiculous. Those don't even work for werewolves. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for more vampires. Nope. Midnight Mass. What's going on? What just happened? Riley just killed himself with the sunlight. Yeah. Thought he was taking Aaron out on a boat so she couldn't escape him so he could turn her. Yep. Instead, he offed himself and made her watch so that she believed him. Yeah. And then she screamed for like two minutes straight. Yeah. It was intense screaming. Yeah. So what is going to happen? What's Aaron going to do? Couldn't tell you. Yeah. Uh, Not a clue. Well, should we jump in and find out? Yes, please. But first... This video is brought to you by The Coldest Water, coldestwater.com. They sent us these awesome water bottles. We engraved our names on them. Awesome to keep your water cool for up to 36 hours. They float in the water. If you like hot drinks, keeps your it keeps it hot. Like if you want hot coffee. It keeps the, your water super hot. Well, if you want hot water for soup later, maybe, or tea, <laughs> right? Take it in this, right? Yeah. Coldestwater.com. Use code YMTM for 10% off your order at thecoldestwater.com. Great stuff. Anything else? Like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us. We're finishing up Midnight Mass. Yep. Check out our Patreon if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. Let's watch Midnight Mass. Let's do it. I'm still surprised the boat didn't catch fire. Yeah, that'd suck, huh? And now she's got to row back by herself. Yeah, she's got to sit right where he burned up. Yeah, you could at least swap seats with her before. <laughs> yeah, she's gone through a lot. She lost her baby and now Riley. Mm -hmm. Like her true love, so to speak, right? 
Yep. Book six, Acts of the Apostles. Oh, he left letters. That's why he was hovering over their beds. Yeah. He wasn't just being creepy. He was saying goodbye to them. Does she go home or to Riley's house? Not sure. I need your help. And now you think I'm crazy. <sighs> I think I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard of Ignaz Semmelweis? Nope. Did you just make that up? He was a Hungarian physician in the 1840s. Finds himself in charge of two maternity wards. No surprise that one of the clinics had a higher mortality rate than the other one. The surprise was which one? It was the first one, the teaching school. Death rate was staggering. Women had a better chance of living if they gave birth on the streets. Maybe his students should wash their hands after performing the autopsies before going into the birthing ward. <laughs> so yeah, Aaron, your story is crazy. Let me tell you something crazy while we're at it. I mean, was a little crazy between friends, right? Yeah, her mom's younger than her now. <laughs> Quietly for now, because if I told anyone in the medical community what I'm seeing here, they would think that I'm crazy. Oh, her it's her mom's blood. Tests, which means taking blood to send to the mainland for analysis. But I haven't sent them yet because I keep doing this. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> Bonkers. Smoke a lot. Yeah. Mom. I'm nuts. Fit for She's way lives. younger than her daughter now. <laughs> She's got gray hair, but... <laughs> ...is violently photosensitive and causes an insane anemia. A desperate hunger for iron. Iron in blood. But as that ratio increases, the physical alterations become more pronounced. She's sciencing. This vampire thing. <laughs> if you ingest it, what would happen if you were pregnant? What happens then? It would repair the cells that didn't belong to you. Its response to a fetus could be equally aggressive. Oh, now she's super pissed. Yeah. Maybe our body can push it back out, filter it out the way it does any other harmful substance if it's not too much. I mean, that's what I want to think. Honestly, Mom, I don't have a f***ing clue. All right. And she's like 50 years younger now, so how much of her blood is hers now? Huh? Uh-oh. What did Riley's letter say? Probably said to avoid Father Pruitt. Would you mind if we maybe take a walk? bit private what I have to say I mean this stuff it's crazy stuff delusional stuff the truth <laughs> he had he put you in the middle of them he says some crazy stuff about you <laughs> and, uh, if he even remembers who Riley is anymore he does well, what's I his letter say to him holy cow I'm going to fuck up your world. <laughs> but he's dead. Yeah. You won't get away with this or something like that. I'm going to try to fuck up your world. Ash Wednesday. I'm going into the mainland this evening. I'm catching the bell. I was hoping you would come with me. Well, dear, that's... My, what an odd request. <laughs> Whatever we can do for you, we're here. We're here for... We're here for you. We just won't follow you. I'm so sorry. But he's gone. I'm... 
He told me, he, if I could, he wanted his family to be safe. He wanted you away. Quiet. I'm sorry. Be quiet, dear. I know. I'm going to look into what exactly? <laughs> look into St. Patrick's. Yeah, go to oh. church tonight. <laughs> On the basis that some of your mother's blood tests got damaged. It's a lot to ask. I know. Do you? Show him the blood test. It's unique. <laughs> <laughs> Ali is bored to tears, but he's safe. And. He's, he's not safe. He's been going to church. Not been taking communion though. Yeah, but if he's baptized tonight, you don't carry a gun. No need. Hmm. Tell him to start carrying one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's also got three mis missing people right now on the island. Well, I guess Riley was found for him right but bull and joe are still missing no one ever saw riley except for aaron yeah so he's technically still missing but she was the one that reported him missing she also hasn't been back to report him found just looking for the bell no bell today uh mayor sent it for repairs uh the bell and the breeze we, we shipped them off this afternoon both of them. So everyone's trapped on the island. Just you bring it up to the mayor. I'm sure he could put your mind at ease. I'm sure he can. <laughs> Lots of boats on this island, if nothing else. You service them all, don't you? I reckon so. Like the one you're on right now? Yeah, just, uh, just giving her a tune-up. <laughs> Make sure it can't run. Yep. Making sure no one can run. Hey, don't forget Easter Vigil. You're going to turn all of them on Easter? <sighs> uh, head back to the sheriff. Better get to that rowboat. Row like hell. Does he have a gun? <laughs> Not that a gun works against vampires, but... Maybe if it has silver bullets? That's for werewolves. And don't be ridiculous. Those don't even work for werewolves. Okay, well, um, just keep me posted. Yeah, yeah we'll do. That's the last of them. How about the boats? We got about half of them. The rest all hit before the vigil. And if the cell tower goes down, then we are completely cut off. Mm -hmm. Completely. And they're going to come picket at your house if you don't show up to church. But I'm going to go tonight. <sighs> It'd mean a lot to me if you joined me. I'm about to tell his dad he's getting baptized tonight. Mm -hmm. I know, but they just keep telling me what a big deal this mass is and how important it is. Ukra says Father Paul's been scrambling all day. There's supposedly some big surprise. He said something about sharing a miracle tonight. Yeah, you're demon angel, right? That's a miracle. Just want you to be there. To see it together. I feel like not everybody's gonna be there. I feel like the doctor and her mom are gonna go too with Aaron, right? Don't know. I brought some printouts for the hymns. Wait, do you mind? No, of course. All right, what hymns are they gonna sing? Lord of all, we bow before thee. They're wrangling everybody. I found a bunch of harmonizers too. Happy Easter. Just like try to sit in the back a little bit. <laughs> yeah. They're not going to sing. They're going to lock them all in anyways, so it doesn't matter where they sit. Now is the sheriff going to go? I think so. Oh, there goes the cell phones. Glory, 
They sound beautiful. Mm. I think Catholics are the best singers. Uh, <laughs> That's a joke. I mean, like, I've heard really bad voices yeah. in the Catholic Church. <laughs> the priests ones that think especially. they can sing and they go all out. I feel like the priests, mostly. It's going to fly by. It's a cool shot, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's the sheriff. Does that church have enough seats for the whole town, you think? Yep. Also, with that many candles, is that against fire code? <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a firefighter on the island, though, just a sheriff. No fire marshal to go... Jesus is uncovered, so... I wonder if crucifix is always covered on Ash Wednesday. It probably is. We just don't go to church on enough. That was Good Friday. Whatever. Whichever day it was. And I had cause to celebrate, to rejoice. It was a holy day. And tonight will be different as well. Tonight is the beginning of a new era. And we are meant to celebrate the resurrection tonight. And, and we will more than anyone ever has but first in fact and he stands before you right now asking for your forgiveness now some of you must have thought it before in the backs of your mind <laughs> they're like are you f***ing me right now <laughs> the resurrection of the body new and everlasting life now, tonight, Riley's letters going through his dad's head right now like he was right there is a price to be paid for everlasting life, and each one of us will have the opportunity tonight to pay that price. But first, and... Uh, <laughs> She's like, uh, excuse me? So, I invite you, as Jesus invited Thomas, to witness for yourself, Sturge. I wish the angel going to pop out of. <laughs> out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her. He's just hanging out, waiting there. Oh, they're going to poison all of them. After. Well, they've already consumed. Not all of them, though. This will be frightening for all of us, but Sturge. No, they're going to kill him. In Christ, right now. Are you afraid? They're showing Sturge just as the example. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's not a painless way to die. What if he got it wrong, though? Like, I felt like just drinking. I thought you had to be bit. I guess he was he was bit. He was been no, well, he's the been blood is, the blood has been running through his body. They just have to have the blood running through their body, right? That's what Easter is about. That is what we are about to witness. Sheriff, please. I... Oh sh God's messenger. And remember, brothers and sisters, have faith. That in the Bible, when an angel appears to we humans, we are afraid. The angel of the Lord appeared to them on the right side of the altar of incense. Oh, God. Just then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of God shone around them, and they were sore afraid, and the angel said, Fear not. <laughs> And they took away She's like, thank God that worked. <laughs> Jesus looked up, let his eyes rise up to the sky. And he... Mom and dad are like, my turn. But now he's going to want to eat all these people. Thank you for hearing me. The organ player is just going to sit down and play another hymn. <laughs> sure. No it's no big deal. What hymn is it, though? He is risen. Salvation. The miracle is already in you. The blood of the angel is already in your veins. Not all of yours. Not be yours unless you let your earthly body die so that your divine body can awaken. The sheriff didn't take communion. No, and he's got a cup. But they don't really care because he's a non believer. So they probably want non believers to die anyways. Dad! Dad! Stop! Stop! Sheriff, Sheriff, I implore you not to deprive yourself. Not, not he's not taking communion. 
Ali, come here right now. You're coming with me right now. And Don't if we need to be waving a gun. <laughs> This young man is choosing God in the face of pressure from his own... He will just die. Thank you for setting an example. Welcome, my son. He hasn't taken communion. Oh, my God. I choose God. No! 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. We have to do something. We have to do something. Don't drink that. Unless the son took communion? I don't think he did. He, he, you can't unless you're baptized and have received first communion. <sighs> Who would have stopped Father Pruitt, though? Did she drink it? No. Oh, good God. Close the doors. He's not going to be dead. And Bev's going to trap everyone in there. <laughs> Jesus. It won't take long. You rest and you heal. Is the bullet still on his head? <laughs> Sturge? Sturge! She hasn't drinking anything yet. He's gonna... Yeah. He's gonna go for her first. <gasps> oh, he did take communion. Keep the doors locked! <gasps> They're about to like go to town on people that who aren't changed yet. Get out of there, Sheriff. They gotta get out the back door. Well, Ed's dead. Guns? Those things don't matter anymore. Not in the new world. Yeah, shoot her. For sure. I mean, you could shoot me right now. It just mean I'm five minutes behind. Good choice. We have five minutes. <laughs> Burn her, too. All right, right, would that work? What are they going to do? I have no idea. Uh oh. Yeah, she was evil as a human. She's gonna be really, really, really evil as a, as an undead. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what happened. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Look, it happened nonetheless as it was meant to. <laughs> Let God sort them out. Does that mean Ed's gonna be a vampire too now? Yep. Open the doors. The doors stay open. Just as the gates are always open. How else does the gospel spread? How many die the first time the sun comes up? Yeah, they're gonna have to change the schedule of the fairies tonight. Yeah, I guess. Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody's gonna leave the island during the day. They're all vampires. So, uh, oh, God. everybody but the sheriff, Aaron, the doctor, the Riley's, Riley's mom, brother, and Lisa. Yeah. So, like six? Something like that. Man. That's brutal. And they have no way to get off the, on island. the island. Yeah. No power. What are they going to do? Maybe they can lure them to the ocean. Row out into the ocean, try to lure those that are there, demon, and then wait for the sun to come up. The head vampire demon can fly, though. 
Yeah. Yep, not sure. Where do you think he took the mom? Uh, To consume her somewhere. Do you think he's going to change her or eat her? Probably change her. Yeah. Probably knows Pruitt's love is her. Uh, He doesn't technically eat them. He just drinks all of their blood. But he did that to Riley, and Riley came back back fine. Because he had his blood in him already. Right. And the mom. No, he didn't take communion. No, but Pruitt was there to give him his blood, I bet. Oh, yeah. Huh. Hmm. One hour left. Yeah. So do the vampires win? Or does Erin and her team win? I mean, I like, I'm a believer in happy endings, so I'm hopeful that Erin's team does, but I, oof, it's not looking good. The odds are not in their favor. <laughs> it's like six versus 120 vampires. Yeah. Right? I mean, what's the population? 126 uh, or something, something like that? Something like that. It's not looking good. No. Anything else on your mind? Like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us. We're going to finish up Midnight Mass, so you better come back. Which people comment on? I, I don't know. Would you have drinking the, the cups? Would you t- drinking the rat poison to join the, the vampires? Or would you have fought it? Who says yes to that? Well, some people might. It's one of those things, like, everyone thinks that they would say, hell no, but you might. <laughs> you might do it. Yeah. Anything else? No. This video is brought to you by The Coldest Water. Check it out. It's coldestwater.com. Use code YMTM for 10% off your order. 36 hours. Keep your ice clinking really in there. Keep it nice and cold. Hot drinks as well. If you want hot water or coffee or tea. Also, it floats. How cool is that? Amazing. Coldestwater.com. Check it out. We also have a Patreon link down below. Check it out if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls. To help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. We also have Instagram and Twitter at you, me, the movies. If you want to follow us on social media for behind the scenes, little pictures and updates on what we're, what's coming soon to the channel and stuff like that. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. almost like she was planning this the whole time. She built the rec center that holds the whole town. Enough beds for everybody. No, no. Just the Catholics. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for a finale. The finale of Midnight Mass. And what the heck is going on? We got it. They all on the crock pot. They all changed except for six of them. We got to see what happens to the six. Yeah. How do you kill a vampire? I have no idea. Wooden stake, stake through, through the, the heart. heart. Yeah. Is the you know age old way of killing them Aaron's or sunlight? Ha- does Aaron's house have a picket fence? Go find some garlic. Get some holy water. <laughs> and a lot of wooden stakes. There we go. All right. There's a lot of picket fences around that island. There so are. So start. St- Impaling vampires on wooden st- on Let's fence hope it's posts. that easy. Right? Yeah. Well, do you think they're going to win or the vampires are going to win? I don't, know. I don't know. Should we jump in and find out? Yes, please. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out. We're finishing Midnight Mass. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. Let's watch the finale of Midnight Mass. What book is it going to be? Revelations? Book seven. Exodus or Revelations? I have no idea. Book seven. Revelation. <laughs> oh, that's the, the mom, the old is lady. Mm-hmm. She's back to her prime Millie self. or something. She's definitely younger than her sister now, or daughter. Yeah. That was Riley's dream. He saw that bloody door well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But he's got a splitting headache. Is he still believing, or is he having a huh? crisis of conscience? I think this might help.
So is she back into him now that she's a vampire, you think? I don't know. They're on the hunt. Oh, the people that didn't go to church. Yep. I guess not everybody went. All the heathens are getting it now. Oh, turning them now. Is the son not liking it, or...? I mean, I imagine others would be like Riley and have... Yeah, I guess Riley would with, have issues with it, yeah. With this, right? Oh, they just went home? Where else are they going to go? Go find a boat. I don't know. But you, you said you studied this thing, all right? You, you said you had samples. I didn't. I, 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 I don't want it. She said she wanted to study it. Does anyone have service? I mean, what are you going to do? Like, call the cops? They're cutting us off. Boats. I have a canoe. By the upwards. I don't think it gets anybody to the mainland, but off the island, at least. My parents? My parents are out there. They'd have to come with us, right? Get them to a doctor. There's room. No, no. I think I'm... That's why they just pulled some plugs. Because they need the boats. So they can leave. Populate the earth. Sarah, you said it was a contagion. It just one of them, just one of them makes it to the mainland. It's a suicide mission. Three bullets in a dream. What's any of this gonna do? The guns and knives. They get back up. It slows them down. Maybe it buys us a few more minutes. A few more minutes alive. Because if they die, they get turned, so it's like. <laughs> what if we head to the beach and hug the shoreline to the upwards and you take the canoe and you paddle out? As <laughs> Jesus. Again. He's got a great aim with that arm. Aaron Green, I'd like to finish our discussion. <laughs> She's such a bitch. You get those children to safety. Like a word with Bev. Mom. Go, Mom. Kill Bev, please. What's that for, Annie? Please, don't tell me that's for us. We're past all of that now. It's not. It's for her. She's gonna... So that they get distracted. And a murderer was evidence of the quality of his parenting. He was. Every part of him. God loves him. Just as much as you. She's stalling. Check her on back. Jesus. I wonder how much of a discussion they had to have with how many fingers does she go for <laughs> at a time? It's probably all her choice. Is it two fingers, one finger, the whole hand? Which fingers? <laughs> she made the decision to do two middle fingers. Ugh. I would have just done my thumb. If you would just show up and ask me, I would have taken this collar off, and I would have gone with you. I would have gone with you anywhere in the world. Even into the sunlight? We made our choices. We lived our lives. She grew up and we faded away, and that's how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to be over. I think she's saying she doesn't want it. Yeah. Keep moving. My husband. Help me! Shh! Help me! Shh! Quiet! Help! Help me! We have to go! Now! You guys smell good. Like, you smell amazing. Back up. Raghead. <laughs> Oh, How do you kill that thing? Not with a bullet. 
Last bullet. That was it. Yep. Go! Run! 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 They did not get very far, did they? Yeah, they're not even on the coast. <laughs> gotta put out this fire. I don't know. I'm gonna burn the whole city down. Whole or town. With this wind, it's like a tinderbox. The whole thing could burn to nothing like an 84. Wouldn't that be great? In 84, the whole town burned down? I mean, the church didn't burn in 84. Revelation. The fire mixed with the blood, and they were hurled to the earth, and a third of the earth... They burn all the buildings. They have nowhere to hide when the sun comes out. Except for the church, if it doesn't burn down. Let all of it burn. Okay. The good citizens, they know where to go in a storm. So is the mom dead because they drink all of her blood? Oh, no, I'm sure she'll come so back alive. She doesn't have enough to reanimate herself. Mm. Then all of the people in the church that got their blood sucked out. Oh, she's going to turn back right now. Does she have Riley's will? She's going to get the gun. Yep. We're going to be okay. You think we're gonna make it? That's not what I said. I'm saying, either way, we're gonna be okay. Either we become vampires or we get away. Right. It's not like the worst thing in the world to either of them, but ugh. Well, good. Hopefully, this keeps them uh, entertained Busy. long enough to have somebody get to the ocean to sink all the. Boats. Oh, it's all mine. Same what they're doing to people. But not you. No, not me. Of course not. Because they're Riley Flynn's parents. They're burning it down. Why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense. Sink those boats. I hope the kids made it to the boat. I hope so, too. We're never going to know, are we? Probably not. They did. I'm deciding they did. <laughs> Positive thinking. They're going to burn all the boats. Yep. So that everybody's stuck on the island. Mm -hmm. So that no one can escape. He's not living there anymore. Are you sure? They might find the drug dealer's body, though. <laughs> oh, they're smelling a dead body. Uh -huh. Oh, lots of dead bodies, huh? Oh, there he is. Who else did he kill? Oh. He's killing people right now. <laughs> He is home. Can we burn him? Uh oh. He's focused on feeding, so mm -hmm. he's. I'll just piss him off. <laughs> Not even phased. Right in the neck. Damn it, knock it off. I'm busy here. Is he just in like a blood hypnotic phase or does he just not care? A uh, blood trance, I'm sure. How great would it be if we could burn him? <laughs> that works fast. <laughs> He's just going to go put himself out, huh? You know, your father's worried sick. Lisa! Oh, the gun. School's out for summer. It's almost like she was planning this the whole time. She built the rec center that holds the whole town. Enough beds for everybody. No, no. Just the Catholics. <laughs> Enough beds for the Catholics. <laughs> I said 
set of cots in the rec center for those who are chosen. We will take to our ships, to our vessels, and then we will spread the good word. And, and, and who, who will decide who's chosen? We will. And, and what happens to the rest? I don't much know. That isn't up to me. It's between them and God, isn't it? Well, they look like zombies. They're not zombies. I was wrong. We, we, we were wrong. We are wrong. This needs to stop. Oh, wow, that's one way to admit it now. A bit <laughs> late. Woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, vipers brood. Oh, changed her tune pretty fast, huh? I truly hope. You too enjoy the sunrise. <laughs> Cuckoo, kachoo. I'm just wondering what woke up the father. Like <laughs> that bullet shot to the brain. We're ready for them. Hold them outside a few more minutes. We need an accurate head count so we know how many boats we need tomorrow. They they burn the boats. Wade will call back the ferries. He'll just call them back when it's time. Phones are down. Go fast. Lord. Pray while you row. Can they get to the mainland in a canoe? 30 miles. <laughs> Without a compass. It'll be a trek. Is that Howard? I don't think I ever saw you at mass a day in your life. And yet, you were blessed tonight, weren't you? She's a peach. You know, I hate to tell you this, but you <laughs> could have brought them back. Just as Sturge apparently brought you back, which was something we discussed only doing in rare and specific... <laughs> Damn it, Sturge. You're ruining Bev's plan. Well, the tools for your salvation were always there. The doors were always open. She's a lunatic. She is just freaking psycho. I saved him, Bev. He was, he was always nice to me. Bev's way or the highway, Sturge. You like the water? I know you do. Well, maybe, uh... Yeah, don't tell him about the sunrise. When he'll burn alive. <laughs> I'll just park it right there and the sunrise will work there too. Hey. You can burn alive with us. It'll be fine. Is that a girl? Daddy's just going to let it happen too, I bet. Is he going to tell her I'm your father? No. God, I'm proud of you. I'm sorry that we never told you your mother and I, but I. You oh. and I just wish I just wish that that we had gotten to know each other. Me too. Out of the back, I'll take. Fucking. Look at me, Sarah, and Kate, John. <laughs> She doesn't want that. Stop! I was hoping Bev didn't have the aim for that. Dirty blood. Wow. Surprised you didn't wait till we were all inside. So yeah, she's wait. really just like an evil bitch, huh? Light her up. Damn it. I was really hoping Aaron wouldn't. Damn it. Boy. Son's gonna throw it in. Oh yeah. Don't even know his name. No. Good luck hiding from the sun now. Uh. 
Oh, he's not going to be able to fly now. Well, he'll heal himself, but... <laughs> oh, they really made those wings look like skin, huh? Really cool. Where, where else can we go? There's got to be somewhere else. There's not. And start digging. Start digging a hole. I don't know, but I think I killed my mom. And your dad. Mm hmm. Both. Where is that sun? There. It's heading west. Where is the sun? Do you think it can make it? Before the sunrise? 30 miles? I mean, that thing can barely fly it. Mm, seem to be flying. She's got blood in her, so she's gonna turn. Mm -hmm. The body stops a cell at a time, but the brain keeps firing those neurons. Little lightning bolts like fireworks inside, and I thought I'd despair or feel afraid, but I don't feel any of that. None of it. This is this what he told her. Yeah. What he thought death was. Yeah. I was before them, and I will be after, and everything else is pictures. Fleeting little dreamlets printed on the tissue of my dying brain. I, mean, I am the energy firing the neurons, and I'm returning. It all seems pretty confusing to me. <laughs> and again, and again, and again, and again, and on into eternity. And I am all of it. I am everything. I am all. I am that I am. Papa. That's I am who I am. I am what I am. Papa. I am what I am. That's right. It was like a beautiful monologue, but I didn't understand any of it. She's basically just saying we're all stardust. Riley's letter to Father Pruitt was, from dust we came, from dust we will return. Okay. Saying so once we're dead, we're, we go back to the stars as dust. Those I go wanderer. Uh, he's going to have to watch his son light on fire. Muslims pray to the sunrise. Uh -huh. well, they pray to the east as the sun rises. I'm glad he died before he had to watch his son. Burn alive? Yeah. Oh, now you start digging? A little too late, Bev. Where's that f demon? Hope he comes flying out of the air. I can't feel my legs. That means the head angel vampire. died. Yeah. Thank God that de demon angel died. Because the blood is yeah. fading. The creator of all of them is gone. Thank God. But do they get to the mainland? <laughs> Somebody will come rescue them because and the fairies show up and it's just the whole island's on fire. Some <laughs> that would have drawn some sort of red flag from somebody. Yeah, uh, Crockett Island looks like it's on fire. Should we go check it <laughs> island out? Island seems to be engulfed in flames. I can see it. It's thirty miles away, but I can see it. <laughs> All right. Wow. The whole island burned, and the people as well. I'm so disappointed that Monsignor Pruitt. Finally saw the light at the very I'm, end. I'm one proud that he did, but I'm so disappointed that he didn't, couldn't see it before he turned everybody into abominations. Once Mildred, is it Mildred? Yeah. Mildred's name? I think once she probably talked to him a lot more while they were sitting in the church. Show him the error of his ways. Also, I mean, her first speech that we heard yeah. was saying as much as I didn't want, this is not what was right. Pretty great. I mean... Again, I think we talked about it a couple episodes ago, but just the the depth of confusion for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's just like so many, it makes you question, kind of, makes you wonder what was going on in Mike Flanagan's head. Yeah. From what I understand, he is an atheist who was born Catholic. That and, would make sense. And this was his story about his thoughts on the... Sure. 
on the religion and stuff. So interesting makes for an interesting story translation thought. Definitely a unique translation. Yeah. What Catholicism could be. <laughs> well, also, uh, also the science of everything, right? We had the Sarah talking about yeah, vampirism yeah. as a, scientifically. Yeah, from a medical. Yeah, from a scientific. Aaron re- interesting. Repeating Riley's. We're all just stardust speech, basically. Right, right. Is also the scientific. It's kind of like explaining heaven scientifically. It's sort of like three atheists explaining religion. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's what it is. It's like, if you think when you die, you go to heaven and you're with your loved ones. Right. And then Aaron and Riley's, you know, their thoughts like, no, when you die, you become stardust. And we're all stardust from the beginning. So you are with your loved ones. It's it's kind of like saying it's all, the, it's all yeah. the same thing, right? Yeah. Regardless. It did not convert me from being a faithful faithful person. Okay. I'll say that. I don't think Mike Flanagan was trying to. I don't think so. No, you're I right. I think he was just writing a story based on what he believes. The music in this was fantastic. Mm-hmm. The, um, the hymnal stuff was really beautiful. And mm-hmm. I think it added that, that layer of, I don't even know what the fuck I'm trying to say tonight. I don't know. It was just beautiful. It added to the thematic. Absolutely. Of, like yeah. it bolstered the whole story. Mm. I don't know. I thought it was fitting that the sheriff and his son were praying to the the sunrise as Muslims do. Mm. Yeah, together at the very end. Yep. And giving you the other faith on the island, their their beliefs coinciding with all the Catholics who were singing hymns together at the same time as the sun was rising. Right. right. So it, it showed everybody's beliefs, atheist, Muslim, Catholic, right. It showed, except for Bev, who was an evil bitch who could not face it, that she was about to die right. and tried to dig up the sand and bury herself. Died or died alone on the yeah. beach. Yeah. yeah. Pretty fitting for her character. Yeah. Are you ready for more Mike Flanagan stuff after this? I'm always ready for Mike Flanagan stuff. He We got some movies of his to watch next. He tells the story really well. So there's a bunch of older films that we should probably check out. This one was really dialogue heavy, mm-hmm. which was fine, but I don't know that it was entirely necessary, although... It was just meat and potatoes for all those actors, though. Yeah, I mean, they all nailed it, mm-hmm. right? They did a fantastic job as, as actors. Yeah. Conveying those messages, conveying those that verbiage. I don't think there was a bad performance. I don't think there was a less than good performance in this whole show from any of the characters in the act. No, I, don't, I completely agree. From start to finish, this was just... Wonderful performances all around. Yeah. Amazing. Especially Father Pruitt. Yes. And I'm, and I'm going to be the first to say his dialogue was hefty. Yeah. It was too much sometimes, but... You know, maybe but very interesting. All of his different speeches and sermons and combining all these different thoughts, like his one talking about the being a warrior, hmm. talking about the rifleman's creed and bringing that into the, like a, a Catholicism creed sermon. It's, I thought that was really cool. All right. Any other thoughts going through your head? Sometimes it's too deep for me. Sometimes I don't feel like being that deep. <laughs> well, what should people comment? How did they like the series as a whole? Yeah. Yeah, how does it rank for you? What are your deep thoughts on Midnight Mass now that we're done with it? Yeah, tell me all your deepness. It's always fun, like, when we finished Hill House, going through the comments. Yeah, seeing what people's interpretations more are. more interpretations yeah. and insight from other people, you guys. Definitely brings a lot of yeah. light to my own perspective, so I actually really You've appreciate You've been thinking that. about Haunting of Hill House since we finished it. Yeah, I you, can't stop thinking about and it. And so... And the comments have added to that. Absolutely. So yeah. Let us know your deep thoughts about Midnight Mass. For sure. All right. Anything else? Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thank you for hanging out with us for Midnight Mass. We're going to keep it rolling into Bly Manor. Yep. We're going to roll right into Bly Manor. We're already kind of watching it, so. Right. Yeah. And uh, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Also, if social media, Twitter, and Instagram. At You Me The Movies. Get a little updates, pictures, and stuff like that. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.